If you're clicking on this video, you probably missed Sheriff Sunday or you just want to relive some of the cool memories that we had. So I decided to put it all in one marathon. So if you do enjoy, hit the like button. If you're new here, subscribe. Let me know which episode was your favorite. And without further ado, let's head into the memories. All right, guys. So I just woke up. It is 6 a.m. and I don't have time today so i'm just gonna go ahead and try to mow the lawn right before i go on duty i just want to get this first side done because it's 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 really getting me annoyed how um it's like really long so i'm just gonna have to get around this tree and stuff anyways welcome to sheriff sunday this is the first episode of um sheriff patrol on Sunday there will be one every week and I hope to turn this into a real series just like my construction series if you guys are gonna enjoy this let me know in the comments below give me suggestions on what I can do in the series coming up and I will be reading comments and looking at your suggestions um, for the future and also some sometimes the, the sheriff series will be recorded in my new whitelisted server just so that we can get um, so I don't have to do it with my recording team every time. And I think it'll be fun to do that. But I'm almost done here. Uh, I might just leave this part for later. Because I, I do have to be to work within about half hour. And I haven't really uh, did anything. I still have to get changed. And all this other stuff. So, And uh, also let me know what you guys think of the new sheriff update i'm very glad the sheriff update came out because now i'm actually able to do it um with this i'm actually able to do the update with this series yeah that'd be pretty, pretty cool all right we're almost done cutting the grass um now i just have to go inside and change all right i'm just gonna cut the. i'm just gonna park this lawnmower right next to my truck right now Alright, I'm gonna go inside, make myself something to eat, and uh, just head down to work. I don't have really anything to do today, so work will bring me some, something. Alright, I'm just gonna get some of that. Let's put some eggs on the stove. Why not? Um, somebody's ringing my doorbell. Hold on. Um, hello? <laughs> hello? Alright, I just handled my business. It was something... Something about uh, my job, something stupid. All right, the eggs are done cooking, so I'm just I'm gonna take this to my car and I'm gonna I'm going to uh, head to work now. I already brushed my teeth and everything, so we're good to go. My sheriff uniform is at the station, so I'll have to get my uniform while I'm in there. I'm just gonna pull out of my house. Um, right now I'm heading down to work. Uh, I probably will get something to eat later. Oh shoot, this guy's back it up. They must have like a little party going on or something early in the morning. But I'm not going to mind that. But yeah, I'll probably get something to eat a little later. Because right now, I'm really not hungry. Sometimes I'm just not hungry when I go to breakfast. When I wake up for breakfast. Plus, I already just ate. <clears throat> but I'll probably go get a coffee or something. I don't, I don't know yet. Alright, we're pulling up to the new handy dandy sheriff station. Sheriff's office. And geez, look at this. We got all the cars and then we got our new building. After taking months of construction, that's pretty nice. I'm gonna go ahead and take the first parking spot up here. You know, reserved for people who work here. Howdy, Sheriff. Go ahead and check, check in. We got this new uh, check-in station. Howdy. Clocking in today? Yes, I am. I'm gonna be working long shift. Um, here's my Here's my badge if you need it. You as well. All right, we're going to go ahead and uh, we have to go get our uniforms now. See, they got a new dispatch room. Oh, yeah, this is amazing. But I'm going to be, I have a special uniform I'm going to be picking picking out today. And I'll get that on right now. Well, I got my uh, uniform on. Pretty nice. Sergeant uniform. Um, also, the sheriff is calling us all for the to the briefing room for morning brief. I assume I'll be speaking with everyone. I, I do not know yet. But for right now, I think... Guy in the gym, hey! We knock on the window. Come on, morning brief. No, he's just gonna lay there. Hey, come on. Got morning brief. 
All right, let's go in the briefing room. Oh, pretty dandy briefing room. Howdy, Sheriff. All right, everyone. Is that everyone? Pretty, I assume that's everyone. All right. All right, Sheriff, is there anything you want to say? All right, I guess he has something to say. Just going to stand over here while he's making his announcement. Oh, that guy's late. I see. You're good to go. All right. Hello, um, deputies. And if you're not a deputy, I'm not saying your rank, corporals, sergeant, whatever you are. Um, good morning. Welcome to your shift. <clears throat> Sunday. Probably going to be hectic. Just have to deal with it. So, just make sure that everything is safe. Um, there is there is not really any bolos going on right now, other than there was an um, incident yesterday at um, the Springfield barber shop involving like some guy who pulled out a knife, stuff like that. I'm just giving you, I'm just making you aware. Um, so just get out normal today. I would say spread out. You guys all know where you're supposed to be patrolling. Get some traffic stops in. If there's a call, we'll have a few units respond, stuff like that. Did you hear that? In remember the how come? What? But um, I I wasn't on duty yesterday, so um, all I did was I heard about the barbershop incident. All right, guys. I guess there's a bolo on the Hellcat um up on the board right there. If you guys um don't see it, yep, that license plate. So be on the be on the lookout for that. And, um, without further ado, you guys can all leave. Have a great day. Get on your shifts. Go ahead and go 10-8. You as well. Alright, Sheriff, I'm gonna go ahead and get my car ready. If you need anything at the station, let me know. He said, mind speaking in my office about another deputy. Um, do I have to currently? I'm trying to, uh, I have to get on shift. But I mean, if you need me, I can. It's not that urgent. Um, can we do? Can we possibly do it on my lunch break? Sure. All right. I'll see you then. I'm just gonna go ahead and get on duty. All right, guys. Well, seems like sheriff needs to talk to me about something later. But right now, I'm just gonna go ahead and get in my car, head on duty for uh, a few hours till my lunch break. Alright, just got hopped in my uh, Silverado. Pretty, pretty cool. Um, that guy just taunted me. I was a little too late. But right now, we're gonna go ahead to gas and go. I need my uh, daily chocolate milk. And I'm not gonna get any food, though. Just want my daily chocolate milk. And then, after that, probably, I don't know, just go sit somewhere. Maybe in Spring Creek. Right, let's park there. Alright, howdy. I'm just gonna go ahead and pick some stuff up. Get my chocolate milk. Then also, maybe get some ice cream. Yeah, let's have a little snack. Why not? Early morning ice cream for me never hurts. Even though it's bad for you. Guys, don't take my tips to IRL. Hello. I'm um, just be getting these two items right here. Alright. <clears throat> How much is that gonna be? I have my uh, card right here. Police week discounts. Oh, police week discounts. That's pretty nice. Um, hello guys. Oh, uh, you gotta making me a little scared. Well, you need to chill it out. Uh, I know, but ten dollars. All right, ten dollars. That's a lot of money. But here you go. Here's my card. You go ahead and swipe it. Do whatever. Oh, so many officers. Yeah, we just got done with the morning brief. Everyone likes to either go to gas and go, or the cafe. They just don't want to drive to the city. All right. Thank you, I'll be uh, heading on my way. Guys, free donuts? Free donuts? I mean, I, I I would like to have a... I would like to get a donut if uh, I didn't just spend my money. Well, alright. Uh, actually, we got a call. Wait, I did not even realize that. Um, My friend isn't responding to my calls. Alright, so it's gonna be at the house in uh, Spring Creek. Um... I'm gonna go ahead and order these guys not to respond. Um, all right, guys. I just talked to the sheriff. Um, they actually gave me the call since I was uh, the first officer to respond inside of my MDT, and uh, we didn't not need that much people responding to a welfare check. 
But I'm just gonna go ahead and respond to the house. I don't know what to expect. He gave me the house. He didn't give me his house location. He gave me the house location of his best friend. So, I mean, we're just gonna head right there. Uh, there's no car in the driveway. So, I don't know. Oh, wait. Hold on. There's somebody. Wait, what? Oh, there's somebody right there. Hello, sir. 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 Hello, uh, what is your name? Are you are you the guy that called the police? Did, did you call the police? You did not call the police? Alright, um... Well, we have gotten our call that sent us to this address. Um, basically to check up on you, like a welfare check, if you know what that means. Um... Have, do you have a cell phone or anything? This is pretty weird. Because I don't know the guy who called the police. Yes, I do. Um, well, we have reports of you not responding to anybody for over two days. And I, I see you don't have a car. So, I mean, that might be why. But you haven't been responding to, like, anybody from what we've heard. What's going on? What's, I, don't, I don't know. What's going on here? My car's at the mod shop. Oh, really? Yeah, you might want to check your phone. Is it broken? I don't know. They said two days. Might be broken. Oh, wow. Look at that. That's cracked. Your phone is literally cracked. Might be. It looks shattered. Okay, yeah. The lock screen's not even working. What? The, the, the lock screen's not working. Look at that. What does it do with calling? You can't. Like, if you can't see the screen, you can't call. Well, we're, we're just here to make sure you're all right, okay? I would suggest getting in contact. The guy who called was your quote-unquote best friend. I, I don't know anything about that, but might want to get in contact with other people. Can I speak with him? Um, no, I don't. He called the police. He called our dispatch room. I don't, I don't know who he is or anything. Might want to go walk to his house, do something, I, whatever you want to do. We're just making sure you're okay. Glad you're all right. Um... Do you mind if I take a look inside your house? Make sure there's nothing. Alright. I just gotta make sure this guy's extra safe because, you know, welfare check. He was completely responsive. And, uh, his car's at the mod shop, so. Right, everything looks. Okay, yeah, everything's good. Alright, is he still out here? Alright, everything looks good. I'm gonna go ahead and head out. Um, thank you. For cooperating might want to get in touch with your family and friends all right thank you have a nice one all right yeah, pretty weird guy unresponsive in his house for days on end but we're gonna go ahead back on patrol all right yeah now he's literally walking down the side of the road we're gonna go to his friend's house boss that guy just ran a stop sign hold on i'm gonna go ahead and get him Make a little U-turn. Alright. Yeah, I seen him. He definitely just ran the stop sign. Well, that's a new G-Wagon. That's pretty nice. Alright. Pull over to the side of the road, man. I don't know what he thinks this is. Alright, well, I'm just gonna pull him over. And you guys, guys, if you did not see, that guy was going... About 10 miles an hour past the stop sign. There's no way he could have accelerated that fast. Um, let's say dispatch. Show me on a 1011. Gray Mercedes. Gray Mercedes. We're going to be on Lakeview Court, Postal 905. Going to go ahead and speak with the individual. No 1032 is requested at this time. All right, let's go. I'm gonna go on this side. There's enough room. Howdy, sir. Do you know why I pulled you over today? Wow, look at that. The turn signals on the front. Looks absolute amazing. Time to go to the dealership. What is this guy talking about? All right, well, sir, it seemed to me like you were speeding down, going past the stop sign. Uh, what what is that about? I, I don't I don't want to accuse you, but okay, I'll I'll tell you my story. You were going about 10 miles an hour before, like when you were accelerating past the stop sign. That's impossible if you stopped and goed. I don't know. 
what I don't know what kind of G wagon you have. This thing is fast. Mm, I guess so. Um, do you have your license registration and proof of insurance on you? All right, well, why don't you go ahead and hand that over to me? I'll be. I'll try to make this fast. All right. Oh, whoa, whoa. His driver's license is suspended. Okay. All right, all right sir. Um, stay here. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, check your information. Your driver's license is suspended. All right. Um, dispatch requesting 132 to my location, 905 Lakeview Court. Um, driver's license is gonna be suspended at this time. Hopefully we can get a unit down here. All right, yeah, we got one unit. Is that the sheriff? Hold on. I'm actually kind of interested. We got a 2013 Explorer. Okay. Oh, wait, you're not the sheriff? Hold on. Yeah, you didn't even call in. Uh, you didn't um, en route on the radio. It's probably a new guy. Yeah, he's most likely a new guy. Yeah, he's, sheriff, just don't worry about it. He's probably a new guy. All right, uh, let's go over here so we can't don't block traffic. Let's just um, fit in front of the car. All right, so this guy, his license is sus. Whoa, why is he pulling away? I don't know. His license is suspended. You know, he's trying to. I just want some insight on what I can do here. Uh, he got pulled over for initially running the stop sign, and then come to find out his license is suspended. So. What do you think? What do you think the best solution here would be? Yeah, I don't. I think uh, we should just. Yeah, I was gonna say pull him off the car. Uh, do you have uh, space in your Explorer? Let me check. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and pull my car up because this guy. All right, wait, hold on. Hey, sir, sir, I don't know why you think it's okay to pull up, but mind reversing back in front of my Silverado, please. I don't know why you think it's okay to pull up. He said, ooh, yeah, please, go ahead and back up. You seem to be really nervous for a guy who's uh, getting pulled over for running a stop sign. So, all right, yeah, let's just stay right there. Sheriff, what is it? You got room back there? Said nothing? So, what do you want me to be transported? I mean, it's across the street. I can transport him if you'd like. Full of donuts. All right, I'll be the one to do it, I guess. All right. And, uh, what's going on? What is it? I guess this guy got his, uh, car back in a chalky, chalky milk. Okay. Alright. Sir. Sir, put the, pu put the car in park. Put the car in park. Why don't you go ahead and step out of the vehicle for me, alright? Step out. Alright, sir. You're going to be, um, why don't you turn around and face the driver's side door for me? Nope, sir. Nope, sir. Stop. Stop. Right. I'm going to be detaining you right now. You're currently under arrest for, uh, driving under with a suspended license. Alright. Anything you say or... <clears throat> you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say or do can be, can and will be used against you in the court of law. If you do not have an attorney... One will be provided to you by the county. Don't tow that car. I stole. Um, he said he stole the car. I guess. I don't know. Whatever. Well, sir, um, why don't you go ahead and have a seat inside of my truck? All right, yeah, why don't you, Sheriff, why don't you go ahead and uh, search the vehicle, get um, DLT down here. Actually, speaking of searching... I was going to search him when I got to the station, but thinking about it now, that's a dangerous idea. Alright, sir, I'm going to go ahead and search you, and then put you back in my car. Alright, this guy doesn't have anything on him. He's good. Rotten potatoes. Oh, uh, I don't know why he's saying that. I don't think it smells like rotten potatoes in there. Oh. Alright. Well, I'm going to be transporting you to the sheriff's office today, sir, just, uh, please. It smells so bad. No, it does not. Please stay silent. Sergeant 436 clocking out early. Dang, we got a sergeant clocking off early. Guess I'm the sergeant now. Right, I'm going to go ahead and just, uh, pull up right here. 
you're gonna be go ahead and uh, taken into the sh um, sheriff's office for um, questioning, and then somebody else will come and transport you to the jail. I still gotta get back on duty. Yo, dude. Yeah, what's the problem? Imagine being arrested, huh? All right. All right. I'm gonna just go ahead and place you in here, and uh, someone will be here to pick you up uh, soon. All right. All right. Well, he's gonna be placed in that room, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and get back on duty. Crazy though. Our first traffic stop of the day. The guy's license is suspended. How funny is that? Oh, uh, guys, we just got a call on our MDT here. Location Maple Street, Springfield. Uh, there, there is a car on the sidewalk. You can send a unit or two down here. He looks young. Um, okay. Uh, dispatch, go ahead and show me in route. I'm gonna be heading down there. Currently entering Springfield right now on Maple Street. Requesting another unit respond to this call. Right, let's see what we what we're working with down here. All right. Oh, okay. We already got the sheriff on scene. I'm, I assume. All right. I'm gonna try to pull behind him. All right. I'll just park right here. All right. Sheriff, is that you? Right, yep, Sheriff is here. He's chasing me with a razor. What the heck's going on? He's not chasing you with a razor. He's sitting down. He was. Well, if there's... Yeah, girl, like, I don't know. There's no proof. I don't know what that guy's talking about. Sheriff. Yep. An uh, illegally parked car. Don't know what this is about. All right, I'm gonna go try to find the guy who made the call. Sir, was it you that made this call? About the uh, legally parked car. All right. Um, are you an employee at Liberty Apparel? Are you awake? Knocks on window. No. All right. You're just a bystander. All right. Yeah. All right. Oh, thank I'm just gonna say thank you for calling the car. Um, do you calling the cops about this? Do you know? Do you know the guy in the car? You're a little too hiked up on the curb. That's what this guy said. No, not at all. All right. Well, um, if you, if you have other business to attend to, you may just just need an actual question. Well, I just said thank you. All right. Who passed you in driving school? I don't. I don't know this guy. There's literal parking spots for you to park your cars. I don't know how in the world, Mr. McDonald. His his name was was probably McDonald. I'm not gonna lie. It would make sense for his name to be McDonald. Alrighty, Sergeant. Um, yeah, what's going on? Side D. Keep this good company. Alright. Mm. Um, how old are you? I assume you just got your license, am I right? 16, 17, maybe. Something around there. Alright. Well, sir, um, you, what's the correct word for the, all right, yeah, he's a young adult, all right, yeah, well, sir, you currently have an illegally parked car, and I don't know what this is about, but, um, uh, there, there's literal parking spaces in the road that, like, for your car to be parked, I don't know why you decided to park on the sidewalk, I, I don't know. I mean, you passed driving school. You have a license, so... I don't know. Sorry about this. I'm on the side of the road while I'm waiting for your friend. Alright. Well, about that. Uh, what's what's going on? It's suspended. How's his license suspended? He just got his license. Alright. Okay, then. He is a minor. I would say... Hmm. What do you want to do here, Sheriff? Your call. You're the first one on the scene. Your call. I'm gonna give him a ticket. All right. You're gonna let him drive out of here. I would say get him off the road. Tell tell him he needs to get off the road. After, like he needs to go home. Cause I, I don't think he should be driving if it's suspended. He gotta go to his mommy. Yes. All right. Thinks about the thing I did. All right. Um. You. 
All right, you, you write up the ticket. I'll explain this all to him. Make it faster. What? He said, heck no. You write it up. All right, Sheriff, whatever you say. All right, we're going to go ahead and give this guy a uh, ticket. Um, we're going to go ahead and give him a ticket. Let's say illegally parked car um, suspended license. Let's put a suspended license. Um, let's just put black sedan location, Liberty Apparel. All right, I'm gonna have uh, get the signing here. I'm gonna go ahead and hand it to him. There you go. Just put it in your car. May I have a minute? <laughs> what? All right. We even got some construction now here. Dude, Liberty Apparel always has construction going on. I don't know what's the deal with Liberty Apparel. They just, like, never have a functioning building. Court day will be 5, 27, 23. All right. You're clear to go. All right, thank you, Sheriff. I'm going to head out now. All right. Let's turn my lights off. Your dispatch, go ahead and show me. 10-8, available for calls, code 4. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and get ourselves out of Springfield. That was pretty weird, I wanna go back. I'm probably gonna go back home for my lunch break or do something. Maybe I gotta go talk to the sheriff on lunch break. What's up everybody, welcome back to another banger video. Welcome back to Sheriff. Sunday. It's gonna be episode two. Hold on. I just got to turn my lights on uh, We've just been patrolling around the neighborhood, you know, we got a few sheriff units with me as well And then I got a few out in Springfield so We're just gonna be patrolling today. It's the night shift Oop, I, I was actually I was in focus that guy um, but yeah, we're just gonna be patrolling around the suburbs and the um, Springfield area Maybe go get, like, a dinner because, um, I haven't had dinner, obviously, and it's the night shift, so. Maybe go get some, th but, um, that guy just ran the stops. So hold on, I'm gonna, hold on, I'm gonna follow him. Make sure he does not, hold on. This guy just ran the stop sign in front of me, but at the same time, he stopped because, okay, hold on. Okay, no, 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 no. That, no, 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 this that's like goofy because I don't know what to say about this. Like he stopped him right like there and then like I don't know. Oh yeah, no, 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 no. This, hey, that's it. Let's get him. What the heck's going on over there? Okay. I have a pull over right here. All right, yeah. I just went ahead and cleared that situation. Apparently, somebody. Hit the curb too hard. I don't know what that was about, to be honest. That guy driving without his headlights. He's lucky I'm already on a 1011. Would have got him. All right, call sign is 638. So, um, 638 dispatch, show me on a um 1011 with a red Explorer. We're going to be right by the market near the sheriff's office. And I'm going to go talk to him. Um. No 32 is requested at this time. Alright, so, and he's driving without his headlights on. I didn't even notice that because it was just becoming dark. So I'm going to go ahead and talk to him. Good evening, sir. Uh, do you know why I stopped? Uh, do you know the reason for the stop today? He said, um, no. Alright, well, sir... First of all, you are, you don't have your headlights on, all right? And uh, I don't know, like, why, but, like, you don't have your, is that a food truck? What the heck? But, yeah, you don't have your headlights on. You had them on, but you turned them off. So, I, yeah, I'm pretty sure you did have them on, but you did turn them off, which is not, all right, in that matter. Should have just kept them on. But, you also... In my mind, ran a few traffic um, um, stop signs. So, when another car... Okay, I'll give you an example. 
when another car was stopped right there, right, and you stop behind them, you would stop right there and then just um, automatically go near the stop sign. You're supposed to stop behind the car, then move up to the stop sign, stop again, and then turn. You understand what I'm trying? Yeah, you understand what I'm trying to come at here? That's what that's what you're um, really intended to supposed to do. So yes, I do. Why is that guy pulling over the food truck? What did the food truck do? Anyways, um, so yeah, but that's basically what happened. Um, do you have your license on you in your registration and proof of insurance for the vehicle? I'd like to see all all of them. So I do actually. All right. Um, why don't you hand them over to me? If it helps, I can come over to the other side. Alright, I'm gonna get that for ya. Alright, this guy, license is active. Alright, why don't you stay put for me? I'm gonna go check your uh, paperwork. Alright. Okay. So, guy was really compliant. Alright, but just in case, I'm g gonna check the um, MDT. Alright, active, active. Alright, yeah, we're good. Well, I'm gonna leave him off with a slight little tiny warning here because um, he really didn't do much. I just want to correct him on the way he was driving. I just want to make the safe environment for everyone, you know. So just gonna wait till the traffic is clear. All right, no no um, written warnings or anything. I'm just gonna tell him off. All right, sir. Make sure to keep your headlights on. All right. And uh, be careful when driving those stop signs. Like I said, stop right when you get to the stop sign. I'm going to give you a verbal warning here. Just don't do it again, all right? I want to have you have a great night. And I want you to get home safely, all right? <laughs> Thank God. Yeah, I know the pain. I, I used to get pulled over when I wasn't, when I wasn't a sheriff. Anyway, uh, you're free to go when I turn my lights off, all right? You have a good night. Alright, successful traffic stop. That's great. Alright, uh, dispatch, go ahead and show me code 4 on the si on the scene. Suspect was left off with a verbal warning. Alright, I don't know what's going on here. Maybe something's happening with the, the food truck or something. I'm not gonna worry about it. You know, that's other sheriff's duty. I'm gonna take a left here. We're gonna I'm gonna go into Springfield. Oh, I actually wanna stop at, um... Rick and John, I'm trying to get something to eat because I have not eaten in a while. Last time I ate when it was when I went to go get my um, chalky milk, which was a while ago. Was oh shoot, there's a lot of cars here. Oh, what is that guy doing parking on the opposite side of the road? We are we are not in the UK. Don't know what that's about. There's not really any parking spaces, so. No one, no one sees this, right? I'm gonna reverse. No one saw that. All right, I'm gonna make a U-turn and I'm gonna try to go to the other side because it looked like there be was some parking spots over there. Also, guys, let me know if you like this um car that I always use for my sheriffs. If not, I, I can try to change them up every episode, but I I like it. That's why I use it. If I'm being honest. All right. Shut the engine off there. Alright. Let's try to head into the restaurant. This guy left his headlights on. That's bad. Alright, yep. Yeah. Um, deputies and uh, corporal. Make sure... Oh, okay. That guy also doesn't have a headlight on. I would recommend one of you guys to actually go ahead and stop him. That is really crazy. Normally, we don't see this stuff here. Or nope. Or he, he's got it. He's got it, guys. No worries. Alright, Rick and John's here I come. Oh, hello. Hello, sir. I'm just eating for one today. I, I just want to take out order if that's fine with you. I'll take a takeout. Do you guys do takeouts here? I'm hoping you do. Hoping you do takeouts. Okay, what can I get for you? Um, I was thinking, hmm, can I get a full rack of ribs, please? I know it comes with two sides, so can I get some um, green beans and some mashed potatoes? That's all. And then for the steak sauce, it'll be uh, A1, please. Th this all will fit in the to-go box, right, sir? Just, just gonna. I just want to make sure, cause I've ate, I've eaten here before. Just never. 
I've never done a takeout. I said yes. All right. Um, where should I wait? Uh, should I wait at a table? What What should I do? Sorry, I'm uh never done this before. It's it's kind of new to me. At the bar. All right. Oh, guys, look at uh, Mr. Fergie here. Hey, I used to wear that on my avatar. That's pretty cool. Nerd. He has a nerd necklace. And you can throw some ERLC merch here. He said, very true. Yeah. All right, I'm going to wait here. Wait for my order to become complete so I can get a takeout. I don't know what all these deputies are doing here. It's like, like all the deputies have like, the same mindset. Like, they always want to eat at the same time. They always want to... Go to the gas station. He's on a 10-5. Alright, well that explains it. But I mean, there is gas and go. Gas and go might be closed. Sometimes the insides of gas and go get closed. Oh, that was quick. Thank you. Alright. Um, also, can I get a drink, please? I'd like a, um... Just a water. That'll be good for me. That was pretty quick. Seems like they probably, they probably already had it made. They... This restaurant really doesn't get much people, if I'm being honest. Only, like, some some parts. Oh, where'd he go? Alright. He had the 20. Oh, yeah. I forgot to tip him. I want to tip him once he comes back with my drink. Thank you, sir. And also, um, here... Uh, what, what's the total gonna come out to on this? I gotta, I gotta make sure, because I... I want to know how much I have to tip him, because... He's been really good. $10? Hold on, that's... That's actually, that's actually really cheap. You sure? Okay. W Rick and Johns, guys, in the comments. W Rick and Johns. All right. Uh, here you go. I'm going to give you a 20, uh, no, actually $50 tip since you were very kind to me, sir. There you go there. Here, I give you the, the, the $50 tip. <clears throat> now it, <clears throat> excuse me. That water was a little bit spicy. I don't know. Um, I'm gonna go out to my car. I don't want my, uh, food to get, um, cold. Howdy, Sheriff. Thanks for your service. Oh, of course. I am technically a sergeant, but let's not get technical here. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead. You know, takeout has, uh, I don't want my food to get cold. I'll probably end up, hmm, yeah, I'll probably just wait here, to be honest. That food truck looks like they're making their way around. Nice silver, Silverado also. Thank you. It's pretty nice. The department gave it to me. Um, I'm probably just going to wait here, to be honest. Eat my food here. And I'll pick it up when I am done with my food, alright? Ah, nothing like good old gas. Alright, guys. It's been about 45 minutes. Um, somebody is actually requesting a supervisor. 1071 requesting supervisor postal 1102. Which is... Okay, it's right there. Oh, so it's traffic stop on the highway, I guess? Alright, um... 638, go ahead and show me en route to the to the scene. I'm about five minutes out. So we're all good to go on fuel, but now I gotta drive up to the highway. That's not good. Let me, let me just go this way. I don't I think the corporal who was on duty a clocked out, so I, I don't know though. Maybe. So I'm just the supervisor. I'm gonna go pick it up. Because why not? Right? Gotta go here. Um, what's this guy doing? Stopping in the middle of the road. What's going on? I guess he. Oh, he, oh, he's trying to. He's trying to yield. I don't know why, but I'll take it. Shoot, I mean, he's yielding for me when I don't have my lights on. That's pretty nice. I. Right, oh shoot. Okay, we got. Oh, we got. Okay, here we go. Traffic stop. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna just turn on my rear lights. We already got a nice light action here. Alright. 638, go ahead and show me on scene. We're gonna be postal 1102 on the traffic stop. Alright. I don't got time for your BS. Supervisor is here. Alright, uh, deputy, why don't you go ahead and step back here for me? Alright, so, uh, what's going on here? What's going on? I never drove slowly! What is that guy talking about? Yeah, I'm... Yeah, you're gonna have to, like, just explain the situation to me, because I have no I have no clue what's going on. He said this dude was reckless driving. Okay. What else? Also, I noticed his, uh, headlights aren't on. 
That is that one of that's one of the things I'm assuming. Headlights aren't on, so. Oh, that guy's headlights not on. He's getting pulled. Oh, he just turned them on. <laughs> yeah, he's definitely getting pulled over now. Uh, he was speeding and his headlights are not on. Okay. Wait, if he was driving slow and how is he speeding? I don't get it. You're gonna have to elaborate on that for me a bit more. Looks like that food truck's headed out of Springfield. You, he like I heard him in the car. He said I was not driving slowly, but then you said he was speeding. So I I don't I don't get that. Is that just like you know like accident? Like I'm so confused. He was speeding and he's lying. Okay. All right, I'm gonna go talk to him. You can stay behind me here. All right, hello, sir. Do you know why you've been pulled over today? I'm the supervisor. Sergeant John with um, Liberty County Sheriff's Office. Is my deputy causing you any problems? Hope not, so. Hope he's not causing you any problems. Yes, he is. Okay. Uh, mind, mind explaining what's going on? From what, from what I'm hearing, alright. He's, he is, um. He just told you to. He just, he told me that you're speeding, your headlights are off, and you're not complying. But what's that, what's that about, sir? Like I said, I don't have any proof of you speeding, but I do have proof of your headlights being off, because they're still off. You were just doing blank, and uh, he said I was going fast. All right. Do you think it could have been a mistake? Mistake, my bad. Hey, turn those off. My eyes are, like, burning. Yeesh. And now uh, turn your lights back on. Anyway. I think he needs to be fined. Okay, well, sir, sit tight for me. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, talk to him again. All right, deputy, step uh, turn turn um, code two back on, please. It's not good to be on a traffic stop without your lights. All right, well um, so he he's basically saying that he didn't do anything. He wasn't speeding, but I know his headlights are off. So I think the only fair outcome here, since he was being uncompliant to you he's being compliant to me so i think the only fair outcome here is to get him is to find him for his headlights being off while driving on the highway at nighttime i think we just have to let him go unless you unless your radar has um has the log of him speeding i, I really can't do anything i think that's the only logical outcome here but it's your traffic stop so I'm tired and there's not, just not much going on today. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and write the citation. You just go talk to him. Try to like make up, do whatever. Could really care less. All right. I'm just going to reach, get the citation book. All right. So I think I'm just going to write him a little light ticket. Uh, do I have any room? Yeah, I do. Whoa, what's going on here? No way. All right, sir. I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, give you a written citation for um, failure to have your headlights on at nighttime on the highway. Okay. Oh, that guy came really close to me. Sorry for wasting your time. It's, no, it's fine. Um, uh, We do get a lot of reports about the deputies nowadays. But he does say you're speeding, but I'm not, I'm not going to fine you for speeding. But if we do catch you speeding, you're probably going to get a cite for speeding. All right, let's go. Speeding. Oh. And guys, for ERLC reasons, pretend this doesn't say speeding. And put, like, uh, no headlights on. All right. What is this? Hold on. I'm, before I write this, what kind of car is this? I cannot tell. I'm just going to put a white classic. Yeah, that's what I'm, I'm just going to put a white classic. All right. White classic. I'm gonna put P one one zero two. Um, site. I think it'll be fifty five dollars. Would be good. Nineteen eighty. Oh, it's a Mustang. Yeah, I said, I knew it was. I could like. I recognized it, but like you know, Mustang. Yeah, I'm pretty good with uh classic cars myself. You know, even though I like my Silverado. All right, just sign there. Um. Your, what's it called, will be mailed to you. Your paperwork and stuff for the sticker will be mailed to you. Alright. So 
Sorry about that. It's perfectly fine. Just, uh, I would, like, say in the future, don't give any of the deputies any troubles anymore, okay? But other than that, it's fine. Alright, you, sir, turn on your headlights for me, please. He looks at other officer with a frown. Yeah, turn on your headlights for me. Keep these on until it's daylight, alright? I would advise you to head home, alright? Yes, sir. Alright, um, before you pull away, I have a question for the deputy. Deputy, come here. I should have accessed earlier. Um, did you get his license and registration and, uh, his insurance? And, uh, everything, everything came back valid, I assume, right? You, 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 sh you would have told me if, if it was expired, so. I'm, I just want to triple check. I don't want to leave him off. With the ticket if, um, something else is wrong. He kept on being, so you did not get his license. That's what you're telling me. Are you new to the department? Alright, well, next time you have a supervisor, uh, make sure to give them all the information. Now we have to go get his license and stuff. Sir, do you mind handing me your license, please? I don't need your registration or insurance. I, I would just like your license. Oh, sure. Alright. Hand that over to me, please. Alright, thank you. Alright, I'm gonna go check it in my vehicle. Um, you stay right there. No, I'm just gonna use the deputy's computer. I don't feel like going all the way to my vehicle. Alright, let's uh, get this guy's license. Suspended. Okay, that makes that makes a whole bunch of sense now. Alright, deputy. License is suspended. Be careful. Just wanna let you know. Alright, sir, um... Okay, so your license is suspended, and it is nighttime, and I really want to get out of here. Uh, I, I really want to get out of here. Yeah, it's suspended. So what I'm going to do for you, okay? I'm going to write this up, but you're not. I'm not going to take you out of the vehicle, but I want you to go straight home, all right? I'll have the deputy follow you. Make sure you get home safely, all right? Does that sound good? I'm trying to be as fair as I can here. Thank you very much. Mm, no problem. All right, deputy, he's going to drive home. You're going to follow him, all right? All right, sir, you're free to go once the deputy gets in his car, all right? Make sure you go right home. He's going to be making sure you get home, then he's going to radio to me once that happens. All right, you have a great night. Yes, you got a call. Do I got a call? Hmm, no. I guess there's another deputy. There's an empty car in the... Okay. Yeah, I think another deputy's got that. Alright. Well, traffic stop. Pretty weird. If I'm being honest with you. Uh, I'm gonna make an illegal U-turn. Uh, uh, nobody's Nobody sees this, right? I don't know why this car is sitting here. Not my business. Alright, we're gonna head back down to Springfield. Hopefully, everything's all good. I really want to get off this shift soon, if I'm being honest with you. Hold on, I've been driving for a minute now. I just got back on the highway, and, uh, can I get one times deputy down to Postal 506 for an escort? Um, okay, 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 I'll, I'll take that, why not? Uh, 506, Postal 506. Oh, I'm gonna turn my lights on. 506 is right here, okay. Um, hold on, it's right, it should be right over here somewhere. I'm gonna turn my sirens on. I assume this is important because it's the ambulance transport. Alright. I'm gonna just pull in the middle of the road. Oops. Hello, sir. Um, what, what seems to be the situation? Uh, I assume you need a transport, am I correct? Transport him? Alright, um, hospital, yes. I assume. All right, I'll get I'll get you over there to the hospital. All right, hey, sir, step back. We need to transport him. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Gotta get this down quick. All right, we're gonna be going straight. We need to get on the highway. I'll turn my sirens on. Try not to get this too high speed, but it kind of is really important. Gonna take a left. All right. I guess that guy is like, quote-unquote, the brother or something following. I don't mind. 
As long as he doesn't get in my way, I won't do anything. Six, three, eight, nine, seven to that call. Nine, seven to that call. All right, gotta turn this. Oh, he said any third two is needed. Uh, negative. Show me um on Freedom Avenue, about uh, heading to the hospital for the ambulance transport. All right, we're almost up here. Gonna have to just turn this way. Yep. I guess this is the best one. Park Street. All right. Let's get everyone. No traffic, which is, uh, oh, wait, never mind, there's a taxi. Alright. I'm assuming I'm taking him to the back of the hospital, so, uh, let's go. I'm just gonna pull off to the side. He can, uh, pull in there. I'm just gonna go make sure everything's okay. Um, uh, sir, you're gonna have to enter through the front of the hospital. I'm sorry, alright? It's just protocol, alright? He said, but, oh, I'm sorry, man. Brother, oh, that is his brother. Well, same thing, same old thing. Alright, I assume he's gonna be good. I can, uh, you need anything else from me, sir? Is it my neck? Ah, uh, he said nope. Alright, I'm gonna head back to my car. This time, I think I'm definitely going home. I think I have about 20 minutes left on my shit. Hold on, what time is it? Shift. Uh, I have, um, five minutes left on my shift, actually. Okay, well, that's actually pretty... That, that came out well. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Sheriff Sunday, episode 3. Hope you guys are enjoying this series so far. I can't believe it's already the third week, I'll be honest with you. Like, the third week of this series already? I remember making this the idea in my head, saying, Hey, we should do a Sheriff Sunday. And now it's the third episode, so that's pretty cool. So yeah, I just uh, got my car ready outside. I'll actually show you guys really quickly. It's, uh, we're, we're riding a slick top Tahoe today. Pretty cool. Because you guys told me in the comments I should do a different car. And the most requested one was a Tahoe. So might as well do the Tahoe and, uh, oh shoot. He, he said, hey Sarge, I'm new. Can you show me around the station? Uh, that's pretty awkward. Just standing here. Alright, uh, sure, deputy. Uh, what's your name? Usually when we do trainings, guys, and we get new deputies in here, they don't really give them a tour around the station. Namion, okay, Namion. Well, I guess I, oh, I'll squeeze in a little tour here. Okay, the tour here, come on. This is the briefing room. We come in here usually every morning for the brief. Obviously, it's, uh, it's uh, a little late for the brief now. The brief was a few hours ago. And usually we come in here for like any briefs or any meetings, stuff like that. Here are two offices, usually the sheriff and under sheriff. We don't have enough uh, reserve space for uh, sergeant and, and things like that. I'll be in one of those offices soon, though. I guarantee you that. Anyway. Okay. Here is the workout room. You can come here at any time you want, as long as you're free to do so. Because I know you do have, like, you, like, what's it called? There's, like... Like, you have to go on patrol, obviously, and you have to do p p paperwork, I'm sorry, and stuff like that. But, I mean, anytime in your free time, you're free to come here and do whatever you want, basically. Yep, and then there's, like, a little TV. The remote is, uh, you can get it by the, from uh, speaking to the undersheriff. You're not really allowed in here. This is just the uh, front um, room. Usually, uh, people will be there. Here is the uh, dispatch room. You're not allowed in here either, since you're a deputy. Usually, you'll be on, going on patrol or ride-alongs and stuff like that. Uh, so, I don't, I basically, I don't really know what you're doing today. Other, like, um, yeah, I don't know if you have a ride-along or whatever, but I need to, I need, I'm going to go ahead and uh, start my patrol, all right? Gets going. Uh-oh. He said, okay, all right. Well, ha you have a good one. That That's basically the whole station. I mean, outside is basically the parking lot and stuff, so... Yeah, basically, I mean, that's your duty today. I don't know. Are you on a ride along or are you going in your own car? Oh, okay. Wait, um, actually, hold on. We, uh, 
actually got a call. And then I'm gonna have to look at that. Hey, someone near the downtown Springfield. Alright, uh, dispatch, go ahead and show me en route. Gonna be, uh, pulling out of the sheriff's station now. My car is all the way on the other door of the entrance. Looks like we already got some, um, deputies on scene, so hopefully they're gonna be uh, resolving that, uh, current issue. But we're gonna head over there right now. Um, seems it to be at, it's at, like, gas and go or whatever. So... I'm just gonna go, uh, code 2 because, uh, I already have some deputies here. And the call really didn't give any descriptions. The call was just, uh, hey, someone. So, uh, you, you really never know what the call could be about. So that's another thing. Squeeze myself right through here. Alright. Let's get in here. I'm just gonna park here. Alright, uh. Dispatch, go ahead and uh, show me 1023. You're gonna be at uh, gas and go right now. All right, uh, deputy, deputy, what's going on here? What is going? Oh wait, oh that's I guess the scene over there. Yeah, I have no no clue what's going on. You don't know, sir? All right, I'll just I'll go speak to them. All right. Alright, howdy, uh, guys. Hey, you, sir. What's going on here? I need to know from a worker. From a worker's perspective, I need to know what's going on here. I want a refund right now. He isn't paying up. Um, okay. That's, uh, pretty weird. He's complaining about his car. Alright, um, deputies, back up. Um, Charlie, you go get a, you go get, um, some information from him. Um, Zane, you go get some information from him. Just back up, because this is too crowded. Uh, Lego, you go get some information from her. Go, go, go. Back up. Back up, back up, back up. Alright, excuse me, sir. Sir. Excuse me, sir. Look at this, this filthy. I'm not talking to you right now. All right, uh, you you need to go. You need to go with um that deputy over here, over there, and talk to him. Okay. We're trying to get the situation solved. All right, you sir, come with me. Come speak with me around the corner. All right. Hello, I am um Sergeant John with the uh, Liberty County Sheriff's Office. What's what's going on? What's going on here? We we got the call, and the description was, "Hey, someone." So, uh, we immediately thought it was an emergency. Clearly, it's not an emergency. I asked these guys to clean my truck. But look at this. Um, what's, what's wrong with it? It, filthy. What, what's filthy about it? This, this car is not filthy, I'll tell you that. It's literally shining bright. This car is not filthy at all. I don't know what you're on. I asked them to clean it. It's, it's not filthy, though. They just, like, what? It's, it's not filthy. Dirty. Okay, what's dirty about it? Like, I, I don't get what, what what is so dirty about it. My eyes are just better than I. Okay. That's if that's what the game you want to play. That's fine. All right, stay stay there. Don't don't come over here. All right, deputies. Any information, corporal? Any information? Negative. All right. Any any information, deputy? Costed 50 bucks? For a foam... Oh, it's a foam wash. That makes sense. The foam washes are pretty expensive. Alright, he's trying to get away from free. Alright. Alright, you deputy. You can, um... Uh, can you... Can you write up the, uh... Report in your uh, car? So that we don't have to do it later on. You can go do that. Alright, you worker. You can head inside. I, I, I want to talk to this guy, alright? I'm just gonna talk to him. Hello, sir. So what what I'm hearing is he didn't pay. He didn't pay after you getting getting the foam wash, right? Okay. Yes, he didn't. Okay. Well, I I want to ask, how long did you foam wash it for? Twenty minutes. Okay. May you pull out your foam washer for me? 
All right, now, uh, now, uh, turn around and spray it. I, I need to see if it's malfunctioned or broken. Not in his car, like in the air. Alright, it doesn't seem to be malfunctioned. Okay. Alright, deputy, I'm sorry to interrupt you. Alright, sir, you're gonna you're gonna have to pay for the foam washer or you you'll be banned from all gas and go stores. Uh because from what we see the car is clean and he spent a good twenty minutes foam washing your car. He he's not gonna foam wash it and um not pay for not and you're not gonna pay you're not gonna not pay for getting the service done he's just a man who's trying to work it's but fine i'm trying to get banned okay well uh go why don't you go inside to the front desk um that uh woman over there can take you and pay for your um pay for your wash okay all right excuse me ma'am why don't uh, you go follow him inside? He's he's willing to pay and leave, okay? He's willing to leave and pay. All right, you two workers, sorry for the inconvenience, okay? I'm glad we can help. He, he is paying, and he's going to leave. He, he agreed to leave. So, you guys make bad to work. Do whatever you have to do. I'll, I'm just going to go ahead and talk to uh, my deputies, okay? Thank you very much. Of course, of course. Thanks for the help. Of course. Okay. All right, deputies, come here. And corporal. Okay, so he is paying. I guess it's, it's done. Um, why don't you, sir, cowboy hat, Mr. Lego, why don't you stay here for an extra five to ten minutes? Make sure everything uh, handles correctly, and so us three can get out of here. Okay. Uh, you two, Mr. Charlie and Zane, you may, you may, you are free to go back on patrol. Everything's under control here. He said, "Well, that was a doozy." All right. Yeah, I guess it was. All right. You guys have a great day as well. Alright guys, well, uh, that situation's under control, I guess. This guy didn't even want to play. That car is clean. I, do I have no idea why, like, I don't know what the deal with that was. Uh, that car is clean, so I don't know what his problem was, I'll be honest with you. Alright guys, uh, just been patrolling around for about, uh, 20 minutes since that little, uh, gas and go incident that happened. And, uh, we actually got a new call on the radio. Um, I, I think there's another deputy already responded to it. It says, someone is driving a lawnmower in the street. So, uh, that is, oh, okay, it looks like it's to be in the suburbs. So, currently we're gonna go ahead to that. Dispatch, I'm gonna be transporting a suspect to prison. Oh, gosh. I think that's him. Charlie, that's Charlie right there. Oh, no, that's amazing. All right, uh, dispatch, go ahead and uh, show me in route. I'm gonna be heading to the suburbs. Show me responding code two. Yes, guys, I'm gonna respond code two. I don't, I don't want that lawnmower guy getting hit. So I gotta get there kind of fast. I don't want him getting hit. All right, yeah, we got another deputy currently responding, which is a... Uh, Pretty good. Okay, uh, I don't see any. Oh, whoa, whoa. Okay, I do see him. Alright. Alright, we're gonna pull up here. Uh, that, that, I was gonna say, that deputy better not park in the middle of the road. Alright. Hey, sir. Excuse me, sir. Dispatch. Go ahead and uh, show me on scene. We're gonna be uh, at the housing suburb. We're gonna be. Near Postal 904 on Lakeview Court. I wish I had it, all the... I had the house numbers on my map. Alright. Sir, thank you for pulling over. Um, I have done nothing. Um, You're right, you haven't done anything. But, uh... He said, I am just a normal grandpa. Yeah, well, uh, sir, where are you heading? You're, you're driving the lawnmower on the street. Where... Where are you heading today? I am mowing the road. Okay. Mowing the road. Wait, 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 wait. That actually, uh, that, that doesn't make any sense. He said, what is the problem with me mowing the road? Um, well, sir, there's nothing to mow on the road. I hope you know that. There's a blade under that lawnmower that cuts the grass, not the road. Okay. Here, l l let's put this into perspective, okay? Drive to me with a lawnmower. Look at the road now and look at it after. 
Oh, he's stuck. Has anything changed? Has anything changed on the road? Anything at all? Has anything changed on the road? This makes... Yeah, it doesn't make any sense because you're not cutting anything. Now, uh... Um, this isn't your house. Uh, come over here. Come over here. Now, uh, drive straight on this grass. Just drive, like, to me on the grass. On the grass. Come on. This is an outrage. No, it's not, sir. Come on. Drive straight to me. Sir, drive straight to me. Come on. All right, sir. Come on. You're gonna, you're, come on. Okay, stop, stop, stop. Did you just... I, did you just try to hit me? You think I'm, you think I'm little, like, I, I can't, uh, hold this lawnmower up? He said, I would never. All right, well, look behind you. Do you see that? All this grass is cut now. Do you see, do you see it? I hope you see, you see this, sir. It's all cut. Yes, okay. All right, sir, sir, do you see that? Look it. From exactly where you drove, all the grass is cut here. That is what the lawnmower is made for, Okay. The lawnmower is not made to drive on the street. You can't drive it on the street. Is that a what? Yeah. It's a lawnmower. The street isn't your lawn. The grass is your lawn. Okay. I thought this was a road mower. No, the road mowers don't exist, sir. They're street sweepers, but there's not a there's no road mowers, man. Well, either way, sir, either uh then how do I mow the... You can't mow the road unless you uh, get a street sweeper, but you have to work for a company to get a street sweeper, okay? Does that make more sense, sir? Hope so. Okay. Well, uh, I'm, I'm not going to do anything to you. I'm not going to give you a ticket, anything like that. This is just going to be a verbal warning to just stay on the road. All right? Just uh, stay on the road. Oh, I said road. I'm so stupid. Stay off the road. My bad. And to stay on the grass, okay? If you ever need to drive your lawnmower on the road, that could be to either cross the street or... Wh where, where's your house, sir? Right there. Uh, okay, you can cross the street with permission from, um, from me. You can cross the street with your lawnmower. Just don't hit anybody. Nope, okay. Yep, you can go. I'll make sure you get that home. Alright, yep, that's his house right there, alright. Alright, um... Dispatch, go ahead and show me code 4. Um, this, uh, scene is gonna be code 4. I'm gonna head back on patrol right now. Situation is resolved. Oop, I fell on accident. Alright. Well, guys, I'm going to be heading back on patrol. That was pretty weird. The guy thought he could mow the road. I have no idea what that was about. Did that guy just run a stop sign? I am pretty sure he, the heck he did. But I, I, I guess not, you know. I, I didn't really see it too well because I was looking to my right. But, you know, can't, can't really do anything if I don't have any proof. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and stop at the supermarket here. I'm trying to, I want to get some um, snacks, you know. I already got my daily uh, chalky milk, so there's not, not much I can get. I'm just a little hungry. Maybe get something from the deli, you know? I don't know, though. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Sheriff Sunday. Uh, this is going to be episode four. Thank you guys so much for all the support on the recent episodes. Oh, let me slow down. But yeah, I'm um, currently on the way to Gas and Go because this car is like very dirty. I don't know if you can tell or not. I've been uh, in the mud a lot, so it's not really, really good. But Gas and Go has a car wash service. Yep, there's a lot of people over there right now. And they're washing people's cars. So I guess that's good, you know, washing people's cars. All right, let's turn in here. This guy's car is smoking. What's going on? All right. Let's get out. I'm gonna just tell him basically need my car wash. Hello, sir. Uh, you have a car washing open right now? Yes, sir. Okay. Great. Um, yeah. You look at my car. You just see it's like very. I need a wash, like ASAP. 
you have the foam wash which is uh i heard it's one of the best services here uh, it's even better than that one i heard so that's a good sign indeed yeah but yeah sir if you can just uh, start washing my car now i'm on duty so if i do have a call i have to leave so all of our foam washers are free for law enforcement well, that's pretty cool so yeah it's already going away that's that's a good sign hello oh i'm just gonna go i need my daily chocolate milk just get that from there and then uh i don't need anything else so let's just get the drink why not howdy deputy aren't you supposed to be on shift i mean corporal aren't you supposed to be on shift corporal what's going on all right guys it's our time i need to pay for this chocolate milk hello sir uh just be it should just be one chocolate milk right there how much would that be I think yeah, it has to be. It's two ninety nine, right? It's always two ninety nine. It's gotta be always two ninety nine. I, I always pay two ninety nine for it. So yeah, two dollars equals uh no, that three dollars equals two ninety nine. But uh, same difference. All right, here you go. Give that to you. You can go ahead and scan my card. I'm gonna eat this apple. What is that guy talking about? Bro's buying an apple from a gas station. Crazy. Alright, thank you. Alright, looks like he's done foam washing my car, which is pretty nice. Hello, you done foam washing my car? All done? Yeah, look, looks very, very clean. Compared to before... Uh, actually, here, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna give you a uh, $10 tip. I feel bad. I don't wanna... You know, it's free... Uh, it's a free service, but I, I really want to tip you. It was, a, it was a very good service. Thank you once again, though. Very, very nice. Thank you for your service. Of course, of course. Yeah, it looks very nice, though. It looks uh, very spiffy clean. All right, well, uh, let's, let's get out of here, guys. I um, need to get out of this gas and go. Gas and go usually really gets busy on um Sunday. I don't know what it is, but it's always busy on Sunday. It, the only other day of the week that can really compare is um tuesday i don't know why no monday i'm sorry why did i say tuesday monday it's always sunday and monday people just must need something from here always on monday well, that's cool they're getting the lawn cut near gas and go that's pretty nice all right guys i just heard my uh mdt go off looks like we have a call two of my old men are fighting i need some coppers quick what's going on uh, the location was at the farms, so, uh, dispatch, go ahead and show me en route. I'm gonna go code 2, because, uh, if they're fighting, I don't want anything to escalate. So let's, uh, let's go. Just gonna go code 2, though. I think I've already got one deputy responding, so that's pretty nice. Alright, guys, we're on the scene. L yeah, it looks like there's one deputy here already. Also, I forgot to point out, I'm using this uh, tw new 2013 Explorer. It's very nice. Oh, my car is dirty again. Of course, I got the car washed for no reason. There's a fight? Okay, hold on. Dispatch, go ahead and show me on scene. We're going to be at the uh, farms. No additionals. 1032 is needed. Okay. I swear, it's like this every day. Stop trying to get me to pay you. You don't pay me enough. Uh, hey. Guys, why don't we take a chill? Okay. Chill out. What, what, somebody tell me what's going on here. Whoa, they crashed into each other, huh? Okay, wait. He was the one who called the police. A deputy. Try your best to talk. Try your best to talk to him. The one who called the police. Get 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 an insight on what's going on. This doesn't concern you. Uh, yes, it does, sir. I assume it. I assume. I assume your son called the police. That's why we're here. Okay. I assume he called the police. That's that's why we're here. That child. He doesn't pay me enough. Then he crashed into me. Okay. What does what does he doesn't pay me enough have to do with this? I don't get it. What, what does payment have to do with this? You're not the one paying for the car, are you? I don't think so. Yeah, you're not the one paying for the car. Or the tractor. I don't know which one you were driving. He only pays me $100. Um, I don't know if you know that, but $100 an hour is, uh, really, really a lot. You mean $10 an hour? 
He was literally bringing crops. Then you hit me with the tractor. Okay. So he was the tractor driver. Okay, wait. Don't get back away from each other. No, back, back away. Back away. So what, what are you guys? Like, um, brothers, co-workers, friends. Okay, you guys are friends. I will pull my bat on you. Okay, guys. Well, it seems like the police really, we aren't needed really here. Unless uh, one of you wants to press charges. You guys want to press charges? Because honestly, like, this just is like a really childish fight that you guys need to, like, resolve ASAP. Alright, if we have to come, if we have to come back here and you guys are, if you guys have weapons drawn, somebody's gonna get in trouble, okay? It doesn't matter what weapon it is, something that can cause damage. Now, you guys have to figure out a way to pay for your tractor and uh, truck damage, because, um, I don't know. I don't know how you're going to get that. Alright, you, you guys sound good? Back up. Do n no fighting, okay? I, I hope... Who owns the property? Actually, who owns the property? Okay. Well, sir, either get him off your property or stop fighting. Th this is really childish. You guys are workers. It's, it's way too early in the morning for this. Way too early. He asked me to work for him. I mean, you're working for him, so either quit your job or grow up. I'll get you out of here and beat you up. All right, solve this now before I, before I leave. Back up. So you guys have to solve this now. He said, F "Fine." Yeah, please. Like, please, okay, please. So Roy caused the crash. Okay. Now, uh, go. One of you go back to your duties. Go in the barn, do something. I'm just gonna get this sorted. All right. So, so what seems to what seems to have happened, deputy? What I'm thinking here is this is just an old this is just a like a regular fight. We we aren't really needed here. I get I get yeah you were scared. I get you were scared, but you know sometimes adults argue like that. There's nothing really much we can do. Seems like Jake called caused the crash. Okay, I'm a little deaf. Can't hear what you're saying. Okay, sorry about that. Then all right, well. Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna say it again. I know that you were scared, but, um, I know that you were scared, but there's nothing we can do. You know, your your old men are just fighting. I mean, uh, yeah, unless you want us to arrest them. We can't really arrest them. I mean, it's their property, you know? Unless somebody pulls out a weapon, there's nothing we can really do. I'm sorry, man. If I were you, I would just leave the property yourself. They can't. They can't force you to be here. I mean, they're allowed to have a weapon, you know. If they have a license for it, they're allowed to. So. Alright, deputy. Scratch the notes, let's go. This is... It's a waste of our time. Come on. Definitely a waste of time. Alright, sorry for the inconvenience, guys. If we do have to come back here, one of you will probably be arrested. Do not pull any weapons. Don't do anything. Just please have a have a great day. It's a, it's a great Sunday. Have a good day, okay? You too, officer. Thank you. All right, let's go. Right. Dispatch, go ahead and uh, show me code four. Situation's gonna be clear. Um, it's just uh, it's just a civil argument. Nothing much. It's not. It's not really the fight that it claimed to be. Gonna be going back available. All right. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna go probably run some radar. Maybe. I do have. Uh. Actually, I, yeah, I do have radar. I just don't have my ALPR this today. Unfortunately, you know. Whoa. That guy's car is still smoking. Remember earlier how I pointed out his car was smoking? Okay. Yeah. Let's. I'm gonna go ahead and get him. Let's go ahead and get him. I, I you know, I, I was gonna tell him, but then he left, and I, I didn't, I didn't wanna give my efforts to pull him over. All right, let's get him. He said, hashtag. All right. Let's see. Okay. Um, dispatch, go ahead and show me on a 1011. It's gonna be a white Prius. We're gonna be on Highway 55, going south near the Freedom Ave intersection. No 1032s required at this time. Right, just gotta switch sides because I really couldn't see you. But 
Hello, sir. How you doing today? Hope you're doing well. It's a really Sunday morning, so... Um, do you know why I stopped you today? Well, I'm doing great. Thank you. Uh, okay, so you know, so you're aware of why I stopped you, right? So you're aware that your car is smoking, sir, right? Uh, I really hope you're aware. Okay, uh, is there any reason for this? Is there any reason? I was going to fix it. You're going to fix it right now. For like, as we speak. This is my car. No, okay. Well, uh, since I do, I do have to say, like, your car is, like, not road safe. So, uh, if you don't mind, I, I would need your license and registration. Uh, no need for your insurance. Right now. Yep, go ahead and hand that over for me. Thank you. All right, I'll be right back. Oh, go ahead and go ahead and sit tight for me. All right. All right. So uh, he he knows his car is damaged. Apparently he's going to fix it. So oops, wrong thing. Let's search that. Okay, it's all active. All right, everything's valid. I'm just okay. Uh, dispatch. Go ahead and uh, requesting one thirty two. I'd like this. Uh, hold on. I'm gonna, actually instead of doing that, I'm gonna beep at this tile. Make him come over here, signal him. Yeah, make a little le illegal U-turn. Alright. Oh, no need to get so close to me. Howdy, deputy. Uh, sorry to call you over here, but um, I, I would just have a favor if you, if you don't mind doing it for me. Also, guys, take a moment to acknowledge my cool-looking uniform. I got the YouTube logo, and I got my name on it. But, uh, yeah, I would like you to escort this guy to the mod shop in the city. Whoa, what's going on? Anyways, yeah, I would like you to, um, escort him to the mod shop. I'm just gonna go ahead and talk to him if you don't mind coming over here. Whoa, did not see that guy. Alright, sir. So, uh, your vehicle is not road safe. Uh, here's your information back. So your vehicle isn't road safe and you're going to fix it. So I'm going to have my deputy here uh, transport you to the mod shop. Because I, I don't want you to... I don't want to dismiss you with a smoking car. So uh, you're free to go. Just the deputy... Yeah, the deputy is going to pull in front of you. And just follow him to the mod shop, okay? Have a nice have a nice uh, day. Morning, whatever. You as well. Thank you. Okay. Dispatch, go ahead and uh, show me code for the situation is under control. We've got a deputy currently transporting the uh, man with a stolen car. Um, I said stolen car. Are you seriously? Smoking car. Alright, guys. Well, that call is settled. I'm probably just going to find a spot up near the county area to uh, go ahead and uh, run radar. I, I think that's the only logical thing to do right now because I, I mean i'm kind of oh oh this is perfect this is perfect uh well, i'm just gonna make a little bit of an illegal thing looks luckily no one is behind me i'm just gonna sit here honestly i don't care if my car is hidden or not i'm gonna i mean i have the radar and i can just check what everyone's going that guy's going 40 that guy's going 50 i just track everything well, guys, I'm actually I'm getting a call from uh, my sheriff. Okay, that's weird. Uh, hello, sheriff. It's pretty odd that you're calling me through my uh, phone, but I, I don't mind. What's going on? Yeah, you got something? Currently, just running radar. If uh, you were wondering, just running radar on the side of the highway here. Well, that's pretty weird. He's calling me. Can I get you back to the sheriff's office? Uh, am I in trouble? Hopefully not. I, I think I'm in trouble, guys. Oh, wait. No, I'm not in trouble? Okay. That's great. Great, great, great. Alright, well, uh, sheriff, I'll see you there. Thank you. Let's make a quick little U-turn. Guys, I'm sorry if I do some unrealistic stuff. That's, uh... I don't, I don't mean to, but sometimes you got to, you know? All right, I'm gonna head down to the sheriff's office right now. Ooh. 
Hopefully, you know, whatever he has for me is great. Whoa, that red car is driving a little bit too, um, sticky. Alright, here we are. Oh, we also got some other sheriffs. Oh, wait, he's the sheriff's right there. Alright. Dispatch, go ahead and, uh, show me a 10-5. Instead of being at a, uh, gas station or a food place. I'm gonna be at the sheriff's office talk to the sheriff. You know, I figured I'd put that in. Hello, Sheriff. How's it going? Over here. What's going on? All right, so we're in it. Guys, we're in his office now. Hopefully, you know, it's nothing too bad. I have something to tell you. Uh, okay. What is, what's, what is it? What's going on? Now I'm kind of scared, you know. <laughs> the Sheriff calling you in is not... I mean, I am a sergeant. I, I do have connections with the Sheriff, but it's not always... Um, not always good sometimes it's bad you know i really don't do stuff with them out of out of work but you know sometimes come to episode five to see what's going on yeah guys you heard it first come to episode five um next sunday to find out what the sheriff has to tell me hello sheriff how's it going over here what's going on all right, so we're in it guys. We're in his office now. Hopefully, you know, it's nothing too bad. I have something to tell you uh, Okay, what is what, what is it? Yeah guys you heard it first come to episode 5 um, Next Sunday to find out what the sheriff has to tell me Episode 5 everyone you finally finally get to see what it is uh, What the big big secret is So hopefully it's something good Hopefully, it's not anything bad. Uh, he said, I'm promoting you to LT. <gasps> Let's go. Wait, Lieutenant, right? Lieutenant? You'll get your new uniform and car today. He said, yes. Th thank you so much. Thank you so much, Sheriff. I'm uh, like, I'm really, really excited to get this going on. I've been a sergeant for how long? I don't know. Let's go tell the other deputies. For sure. I mean, I'm happy. Maybe I could radio it in, huh? You're going to let me radio it in? Attention all deputies, this is your new lieutenant speaking. Everyone who's currently at station, report to the briefing room ASAP. How'd I do? How'd I do? I did good? Hopefully. Alright, thank you. Let's go. Alright, hopefully everyone's... Oh, that guy's running late. Hey, sir, where's your uniform at? Where's your uniform? I don't like that you're wearing a vest with a black shirt. Where can I get, uh, okay, uh, maybe you should deal with that. Come back in when you're ready. Hello, everyone. Uh, you two, may I ask if you could just sit down, please? This is a special announcement from me and the sheriff. What can this be? New? Yeah, yeah, new, 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 new. Alright, we're just, uh, waiting for the sheriff right now. Whenever he's available, you know, he'll, he'll come, he'll come in the room. Oh, no, there he is right now. Howdy. Howdy, sheriff. All right, Sheriff, uh, you may take the podium if you'd like. I'll uh, do my speech afterwards. All right. Here we go, guys. This is this is going to be... This is it. This is going to be it. He said, everyone, welcome your new Lieutenant John. Hello, everyone. I'm your new Lieutenant here. I uh, hope to serve you all well. You know, I've, been, I've been your Sergeant for some time. So hopefully this new position really uh, expands my duties and uh, things like that. I will still be patrolling, obviously, but uh, I heard I did I do get a new car and things like that. So hopefully that won't provoke any of that. I hope I can fill your position. <laughs> they all want to fill my. Oh yeah, speaking of that, we gotta we gotta discuss to pick somebody for uh, sergeant. I get to do roll call. Really? Okay, that's, that's cool. All right, well, we can discuss about that maybe later in the week. Let me get all suited. All right, well, uh, do you have anything else for us, Sheriff? No? Oh, wait, he said or. Uh, okay. What's going on? That's amazing, yeah. I, I agree. So we do have a lot of other deputies, but an email will be sent out to all of you basically regarding this. We're gonna have a, we're gonna have a dinner? Wait, 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 where is it gonna be at? Where's it gonna be at? Oh, hold on, Rick and John's. Uh, is it paid for by the department? I really don't want to pay. You know. Yes. Sweet, sweet, sweet. I hope I hope to see everyone here, everyone there. 
8 p.m. at Rick and John's, okay? Down in Springfield, I hope you all have ate there before. That's sick. That's going to be awesome. Let's go. Thank you all. I, I, re I really hope I can serve you all well. You guys are all able to go back on patrol now. Yeah, yep, that's all from me. You got anything else for me, Sheriff? I mean, you did say I was going to get a new car, right? Wait, wait. Oh, wait, you got my uh, my uniform. Still has a sergeant thing on it. What are we going to do about that? Their chicken is the best. I heard that. You know, I mean, I really don't like uh, their chicken, but you know, they make it weird. They make it weird. I don't know. I don't know why, but they... They always seem to put, like, weird seasonings and stuff on it. Sometimes it doesn't suit me well. Alright, have a, have a great day, everyone. Over here. Oh, uh, I guess he's gonna do it in his office. So I'm getting my bars now for my uniform. Wait. Sheriff, am I getting my bars for my uniform? Wait. Am I gonna be ri riding in one of those? Wait, which one? They both look amazing. No. Oh, I'm gonna be riding the Tahoe. Wow. Hold on. Let me get. <gasps> Wait. Is that my new uniform in the trunk right there? That's my new uniform in the trunk. Oh, I can actually. I'm gonna. I'm gonna try that on right now. All right. How do I look? Oh yeah. You can see the gold bars and things like that right there. How do I look? It says Lieutenant John right on the thing. Yeah. Perfect, perfect. Thank you so much, Sheriff. All right, let's get in here. Let's test everything. All right, so I got, obviously, my lights. I got my, where's, I got my spotlight. Oh, yeah, let's point it at his head. Just kidding. All right, I also, got, oh, yeah, I do have ELS. Okay, so red and blue. Ooh, we even got the nice side runners here. It would look so much better if it was uh, nighttime or day out. Right now, it's just very foggy, and I don't like that. All right, you change it to blue. I can, really. It's nice, yeah. Most likely, I'm gonna keep it at red and blue for now. You know, I miss red and blue. Can never go wrong with it. Oh, I even got. Oh wait, I don't got traffic advisors. Dang it. That's the one thing I do miss about it. I don't have any traffic advisors, but that's besides the point. All right, well, uh, am I? Should I be patrolling or whatnot? Have a good patrol. Oh, okay. Thank you. I can't believe I get to patrol within this uh, unmarked car. That's pretty cool. He said, we have a supervisor call on or response. Wait, do we? Hold on, wait. Let me check my MD. Oh, wait, it does say 146 dispatch requesting one unit to PO904. Uh, oh, wait. I, why am I looking at the MDT? See, see? this is just uh, rook rookie nerves for me getting promoted. All right, I guess we can respond. Alright, uh, dispatch, go ahead and, uh, show me en route. We're gonna be heading to the location right now. Uh, so it's very foggy. I'm just gonna turn my cruise lights on. Alright, wait, where are they at? Postal 904, maybe. I gotta find it myself. So many people outside. Oh, wait, there's, oh, she's right there. Perfect. Let me get this moving a bit. It's going. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and just... Oh, I don't know why she's parked on that side of the road like that. I mean, can't go wrong, though. I do that sometimes as well. Alright, dispatch, go ahead and uh, show me 1023. Oops. Almost just uh, got myself ran over. Sorry about that, sir. Alright, um... Hey, hello, deputy. What's going on here? Lots of cops. Hmm. Well, what is going on here? Hopefully nothing too bad. She said, well, I pulled over because I saw one person arguing about a party. Uh, okay. Is it just them two? Like, uh, basically like a little neighbor dispute, kind of? That's what I'm getting here. Also, wait. The sky, it's clearing up now, which is very... Uh, maybe I should just go turn off my headlights and my cruise lights then. Can we move to... Yeah, that would be better. He's throwing these parties, and the other sub said he's being too loud. All right, uh, Sheriff, instead of uh, doing that, I'm probably just going to go talk to them. Uh, did, did, were you requesting a supervisor or just, like, a backup? Because I know sometimes, like, they always want supervisors. They never listen to the deputies that respond, which is, which is kind of bad because 
no, nobody's just gonna listen to us. I talked to the DJ, he said the volume was a thousand, really? Okay. Let's go over, head over there then. Hello, gents. What's, what seems to be the problem here? I am Lieutenant John with the Liberty County Sheriff's Office. What seems to be the problem here? You're a horrible neighbor. You too. What the heck? Uh, yeah, so, somebody needs to explain because I, I honestly don't know what's going on. Tell him to stop his parties. Okay. Uh, how often? Okay, these parties late at night. And the person was complaining, telling me to arrest him. Okay. Sir, how many parties have you thrown within the last seven days? The music and the, there's lights too? Crazy. Okay. Five. Alright, well, uh, sir. Clearly your neighbors are getting angry. Alright, uh, what, what I'm gonna request for you to do is I really, I need you to, um, what's it called? Take it down a notch, maybe one party a week, okay? And also, have your music inside, alright? Have, what the heck? Did I just witness a motor vehicle accident? Uh, did, did any of you guys see that? Uh, okay. Whatever. Just, may, just please turn your music down. If we have to come here again, we will, uh, order you to uh, stop throwing parties. Alright. We will definitely order you to stop throwing parties. If it's, if it's coming to a point where you're having five parties a week, and we need to shut it down then that's that's bad you know it, it's okay to have a party it, it's your house and it's your rules but clearly it's getting to the point where it's getting other people angry if you hear it again i'm gonna sue well clearly you don't want him to sue do you is, is that is that all right sir that's fine we all good here yeah i have four four speakers well you might want to move them inside okay and close all the windows but uh, are my uh, regulations understood, sir? We're, we're good to go. Thank you, sir. All right. Uh, you, you. Uh, why, why don't you head back to your house? Uh, get off his property. Just make sure he said sorry. Oh, well, he is apologizing, so hopefully nothing bad happens again. But yeah, he... Just get off his property. Don't talk to each other. You guys should be fine, okay? You're welcome, of course. Okay, guys, let's go. Well, uh, ma'am, you can. Oh, John heard about your promotion. Congrats. Oh, yeah, you weren't even here. Well, thank, thank you, though. Thank you. I salute you, too. All right, Sheriff. I'm gonna go, uh, actually head on my, uh, break. Because I'm, I'm getting, I didn't eat any breakfast this morning. And, guys, if you were wondering, I didn't even hear about my promotion until today. He told me after episode 4 to come back to his office the next morning. Which is kind of unfortunate, but, you know, sometimes we gotta deal with that. What is she doing? What is she doing? Alright, just gotta get out of here. Well, guys, I'm gonna probably go on my lunch break. Maybe finish my shift for the night. And, uh, we'll head to our dinner, you know. Hopefully the dinner will be pretty fun. I'm, I'm hoping... Then they have some good menu items there. Because last time... Actually, they do have some good ribs, I heard. And I, I do like ribs, so... Maybe that'll be really nice for me. Alright, you guys know what time it is. We're going to Rick and John's right now. I'm, I'm in my patrol car, and I still have my uniform on. But the party's supposed to be happening right now. Hopefully, everyone's there. Hopefully, they didn't forget about, about my party. really hope. Alright, Rick and John... Oh, look. Oh, the sheriff's right there. And then I see some workers. Come on, guy. What are you doing? Standing at the stop sign for 10 years. All the street lights and stuff has turned on. That's how you know. It's very, very late. Is there even a parking space open for me? Oh, man. There's not even a parking... Oh, he's going to take my spot. That's fine. He can take it if he wants. Maybe I'll just have to go make a U-turn and park right there. Wait, no. He's, he, well, actually, he gave up the spot some reason all right i guess i just park in parallel park then in here perfect all right here we go let's see if this party's any good any if it's even worth it oh yeah some of these sheriffs are gonna end up having to park on the sh uh, other streets which is uh kind of sad but 
Hi, Sheriff. Ready for this party. What's going on here? Every, is that... Wait, wait. For, first things first. Is everyone here? Hopefully. Hopefully. Maybe. Okay, okay. Maybe everyone's here. It's paying. Uh, the department's paying. Wait, wait, wait. You're not a part of our uh, department. What do you mean who's paying? Why is this guy ordering 10 steaks? He said, how's the patrol? Pol patrol's great. Oh, so I see uh, we're getting our order. Hello. Uh, we're, we're, we're doing fine. Thanks for asking. Can I sit? Of course you can. This is just the uh, annual dinner of my promotion, I guess. All right. Uh, I think I know what I'm going to order. So hopefully, you know, hopefully they still have. Hopefully they have it. Oh, wait. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. All right, I think I already know what I'm going to order because I am a veteran of this restaurant. I, I come here a lot. I want the full rack of ribs. Full rack of barbecue ribs. What exactly? We're celebrating my promotion to lieutenant inside the department. But yeah, I'd like a full rack of ribs with some uh, with this uh, drink. I would like a soda, a Coca Cola, please, as well as some mashed potatoes. Make sure to have some butter on them too. I think that's all I can get within the meal. He wants the ribeye. Okay, he wants little fancy man wants the ribeye. Sorry, we only have Pepsi. Uh, yeah, I guess that'll work. That's fine. Why not? Pepsi's not the worst soda, but it's certainly not the best. Coca Cola is the best, you know. Sweet tea. Oh, sweet tea. I forgot they even had that. Also, John, I have your order. Wow, you guys have my order already. Oh, let me. I'll take that from you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Wow, this actually looks very good. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that actually looks very, very nice. Okay. Well, you you guys are... Um, take L. You guys didn't get your food yet. Charles, get to work. Charles just handed me my food, man. Yeah, that, that food was amazing. I'm full, though. Like, I'm really, really full. To deputies. Well, I guess it is Sunday. Um, yeah. Then we gotta go to Monday. Like I've been working seven days a week. Maybe I should. Maybe I should get a day off. You know. Maybe I should definitely get a Monday off. But sometimes that's not possible. Well, everyone, welcome your new. Oh wait, all the deputies are here. Oops, I didn't even realize. Everyone, welcome your new lieutenant. Thank you, everyone. Very, as I said earlier, very, very happy to be here. Very happy to serve you guys as your new lieutenant. Hopefully, only bigger and better things come. You know, I plan to do so many things within the department outside of patrol. So, hopefully, you guys are all here to be there within that. Alright, hello everyone. Happy Sunday. We're just going back to the police station right now. Because I uh, have to go work out. I haven't really been to the gym much ever since I got promoted, honestly, so we're just going to work out. I took, I was able to take my car home. Actually, we got it wrapped, so that's a plus. So I really did, I really wasn't feeling the unmarked. Obviously, I have a choice to go back to, un to unmarked if I wanted to, but I really wasn't feeling it. Right, I don't know what this guy's doing, but uh, okay. All right, I'll just go ahead and park here. I think other deputy. I, I don't know. I think they did their morning brief already. I'm not sure, though. So I think I could just go straight to working. Did that guy just do a burnout on the sheriff? Oh, I'm going to pretend like I didn't see that. Also, I have these cars driving without their lights on. Pretty odd. Okay. Sorry, my, my sheriff's uh, instinct is just kicking into me right now. All right. I think... Yeah, good morning. Uh, I think I'll do some uh, bench press right now. Why not? Maybe I can stretch a little bit before I do it. I don't know. All right, let's get down there. Boom. All right, let's do some bench press. Oh my gosh. How much pounds is this? 160? Jeez, that's insane. All right, I'm just going to go run on the treadmill as well.
this treadmill can go at like insane speeds. I don't even know how. I think the max is like 50 miles an hour. For a treadmill, these things are like like really, really good. I don't know. Is this thing going to get replaced? Why? What, what happened? Something happened with it? I mean, I can bring it up to the sheriff, but uh, I just want to know. Because honestly... Honestly, everything in this station needs to be replaced. Well, most things. The treadmill... Your treadmill didn't work? Oh, that's pretty weird. Okay. Alright, get a few of these dumbbells. Start lifting them up. Oh, gosh. Let's do 10 sets of these. When are you going to start flexing like me? Uh, Ma'am, I'm already stronger than you. Don't ever disrespect your lieutenant like that again. Okay. Now go on patrol, lady. Alright, that was kind of harsh. I'm just, I'm sorry. <laughs> All jokes here, you know? Alright, everyone. I think that's uh, the end of my workout. It's been about 20 minutes, so... Uh, yeah, I was just going to check if anybody's in the briefing room and things. All right, I'm going to go uh, Go ahead and start going to patrol. Actually, let me see if uh, if there's anything on the computer. Yeah, guys, I... Oh, oh, I did not see you there. I'm sorry. I didn't... Oh, what's it called? I have desk duties now. Like, I have more desk duties now because I'm a lieutenant. Hold on, we got a call? Let me just check that out. Guy with a knife. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, gas and go. All right, it's all the way over there. All right, I guess dispatch, go ahead and show me in route. I'm going to be currently leaving the station right now. All right, we got one sheriff. All right, I, th all right, I think that's good. All right, yeah, we got three. Wait, where am I doing my cars on this side? Got to go hurry up to go to this call. Guy with a knife is nothing to play about. Uh, but... We'll see what the severity is once we get there. Alright, yeah, I got a few sheriff units behind me. Currently on the way to Gas and Go. It's going to be a pretty long drive. Let me just turn on my siren. Let people know I'm coming. Yeah, it shouldn't, shouldn't be too long. We just have to pass the farms. They said a guy with the knife, so I'm hoping it's nothing too bad. I hope he's not doing anything. Dude, I honestly thought that uh, yellow car was going to bump into me. He was just running full. He was just driving, and then he slammed on his brakes. Should have heard my siren. All right. Okay, there's a good amount of people. There's always a good amount of people I gas and go. All right. Uh, dispatch, go ahead and uh, show me 1023. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my MP5 from the back of my truck. Yes, because I'm a lieutenant. I get to use the special weapons. The others should have Glocks. What are you doing, man? Alright. Looks like he's in there. Alright, everyone, move up. I try to get him slowly. Sir, I know you can hear me. Sir? Right. Sir, I know you can hear me. J you have to drop the knife, alright? I'm just gonna move in. You have to drop it. Nope. 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 That's not... That's not... That's an order. You have to drop the knife. You have to drop the knife. I'm going to go around the other. I don't know. These sheriffs are cross-firing. The cavalry is here. What? Or what? Or you're going to get shot. If you don't drop the knife, you're going to get shot. Or tased. Alright. I need free gas. Okay, why do you need free gas? Explain that to me right now. What? Why, why do you, out of all people, need free gas? The gas prices are too high? Well, that's um america's problem okay that's not our problem you think that's our problem we, we can't just be giving out free gas we're gonna go bankrupt all right so if you just drop the knife maybe we can resolve a little deal okay if you just drop the knife we can resolve a little deal what's the deal mm, i would say we can probably i don't know I don't know. Well, you you should make a deal, sir. As long as you drop the knife, you can make a deal. I don't know what the deal is going to be. But just drop it. And also, uh, keep your hands up. 
so that you can't reach for the knife again. So drop it, and then put your hands up. Just to make sure. My gas is $50, so I want to pay $20. All right. All right, now go go ahead and face the sheriff with the uh, black hat. Turn around face the sheriff with the black hat. All right. All right, well, sir, you are under arrest. All right, you have the right to remain silent. Do you have anything on you I should know about besides a knife? Also, there will be no deal made, all right? All right, so I, I don't know what to do with you. All right. I don't know what to do with you because on it, you just pulled the knife to the gas and go workers. He said the cuffs are a little tight. Well, well, sir, that's how it's going to be, all right? Okay, so, well, sir, I'm going to go ahead and place you in the back of my vehicle, all right? Thank you for complying, though. I uh, really admire that, you know. I, I think uh, being trustworthy and complying is everything. All right. Hey, you guys, can can you please not can you please not record, please? It's it's there, there's nothing else to be seen here. You, I ask you guys to just leave the scene. All right, as the lieutenant, as the lieutenant, I'm I'm not a deputy. All right. Okay, at least they were compliant. All right, sir. So, it was the story he's telling true. He just wanted higher. He just wanted lower gas prices. Is that that's it? Yes. All right. Uh, do you want to press charges? Obviously, obviously. Um, I can't think of the charge off the top of my head, but he did have a knife, and he was um, threatening to use it. So he will obviously be booked for that. But uh, I just want to know if if you guys want to press any personal charges. Yes, please. All right. Well, uh, you guys. I'll I'll leave a deputy here with you while I take him back to the station. I'll leave a deputy here with you to for the comfort. All right. He'll probably leave in a few hours just just to make sure nothing else goes on. You'll stay. All right, perfect. Uh also, why don't you get a report for me while I go ahead and book him to the station? You could just send it take take a take a photo from your phone and then just send it to me, all right? You have my you just send it in the sheriff's office group chat. All right. Uh, you, ma'am, uh, you do whatever. I'm just gonna go ahead and take him back to the station, all right? All right, he said, I want my lawyer. Uh, well, sir, you're not getting your lawyer yet. Your lawyer will be on speed dial as soon as we get to the station, all right? I'm gonna turn my lights off. What about the gas prices? I told you, sir, the gas prices are gonna stay the same. Why? Because it's not our problem. Because it's America's problem, they they have their gas prices going high, right? There's there's nothing we can do. You lied to me. I did not lie to you. I told you to make a deal. I didn't I didn't make a deal for you. That's what you have to understand. I didn't make the deal for you. All right. And then obviously I lied, and like obviously you didn't make the deal. So that's another thing. But, I mean, that, that, that's your fault. You were the one who pulled the knife out because of the higher get. They, you have to, you have to list, you have to learn. There's a higher command. There's higher people in command than workers. How long will I be in jail? I don't know. You're gonna have to go to court and things like that. But there, there's, there's more to it than just workers. There's higher commands. There's owners. There's the government. I need my lawyer. Oh well. You're not getting it. All right. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just take you in. You're going to be placed inside of a holding cell. You're going to be transported to uh, Liberty County uh, Prison once uh, they interview you and things like that. All right. Your lawyer, you, you'll have to request your lawyer from whoever walks in there. Trust me, your lawyer will be called. We, we like to follow our policies here. All right. All right, everyone. Let's go ahead and put ourselves code four on the radio, and then I, I honestly don't. Oh, that's one thing I forgot to do. I forgot to go get my uh, chocolate milk, my daily chocolate milk. Okay, yeah, I, I totally forgot. You know, drinking it every day probably isn't the best, but 
you know, you, can, you can't really go wrong with it most days, but some days it's not obviously not ideal. Right, let's just get that. Alright, uh, I don't know where the workers are, but I'll just go ahead and pay. Oh, they even got the car wash active today? Hello. Oh, that's weird. The guy just walked out of his car to say hello to me. Huh. Uh, does, eh, my car is not really that dirty. How much is the car wash? You know what? I'm bored today. How much is the car wash? Uh, ten bucks? Sure. Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and go real slow. There's one thing I like about ROC Lake. They really, they have car washes in here too. Really cool. And then obviously the thing moves on its own. Alright. Uh, maybe I could tell a difference? Yeah, I could tell a difference. I could tell a little bit of a, of a, of a difference. But, I mean. My car is white, so. Never really know. Alright, now I was thinking, since I'm bored. I, ha I really don't have paperwork. I really don't have paperwork, so. I'm probably just gonna go ahead and. Just chill right here. Whoa, what is that guy doing? Uh. I know I'm not the only one seeing that. Alright, forget chilling then. Right, let's go ahead and make a stop on this guy. What does he think he's... Where... Okay. Uh, so he pulled over. Okay. Alright, let's get this on the radio. 3578, go ahead and uh, show me on a 1011 with a blue, what looks like to be an older type of SUV. I can't really regulate the model at this time. No 1032 is going to be required at this time. We're And uh, we're going to be right near the, right next to the movie theater on uh, Terrace Drive. Yeah, let's get out. He said I was heading to work. Huh. Sure was heading to work with with that type of driving. Yeah, you were sure heading to work, buddy. Alright. Hello, sir. Mind rolling down your window for me, please. So I don't have time for this. Uh yeah, you do, because you caused it. Alright, sir, do you know why I'm stopping you today? Do you know why I'm stopping you? No, all right, well, first things first, I'm Lieutenant John with the Liberty County Sheriff's Office. The reason I stopped you is because you were swerving all across the road. If there was traffic, you probably would have gotten to an accident. I'll just be honest. I just pulled you over to, uh, I, I just wanted to check. Uh, sir, have you been drinking? <clears throat> no. All right, uh, when did you wake up today, sir? Because I know, I know it's uh, early in the morning, so when did you wake up? He said, uh, 5 a.m.? Okay. Well, that might be why. So you haven't been drinking, all right? So do you have do you have an explanation on why you were swerving like that? Because uh, that, that was, it was very noticeable, all right? You, you can't even lie to me on this one. It is very, very, very noticeable. So you can't even lie about that. He said I was texting on my phone. All right, well, thanks, thanks for being honest. All right, I, I, I really thank you for being honest. All right, uh, all right. Do you have your license and registration on you? Also, I'm gonna need the proof of insurance, the vehicle. Yes. All right. Why don't you gotta go ahead and hand that over t t uh, to me? Your boss is texting me. Well, tell, tell your boss that you got pulled over while you're stopped here. Because your boss is probably going to be mad. Here, I'll go ahead and come to the other window make it easier for you. Alright. Hand that over to me. Alright, thank you. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and run your information. Just stay put for me. Alright, I'm definitely giving this guy a ticket. He just admitted he was on the... On his phone, which is not very good. 
Uh, all right, let's search the records. All right, so active. His license is active. All right, everything's good on him. But I do think I'm going to give him a small little citation. Because that the way he was driving, dude, that's not even acceptable. Maybe if he was just on his phone driving normally, I would have let him off of the warning. But the way the dude was driving, no, no. Maybe I should even take him off the road, honestly. That is, like, serious. If there was traffic, yeah, definitely he would have been uh, way, way more dangerous. I didn't even see that car. All right. Oh, sir. Uh, here you go. Great. This guy is full of himself. I'm a lieutenant. Uh, sir, I am a lieutenant. If you don't, if you can see by the bars on my uniform. But that, that that's not what this is about. All right. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and be writing you a citation today for uh, swerving. All right. And uh, you're you're not gonna. And you're gonna have to pay for it. So, here. Here you go. I already wrote, wrote it down for you in the car. There you go. So, well, I am going to let you go off to work, but try to be more careful. Alright, try to be more careful. There's no reason to give you a sight. Uh, yeah, yeah, there is. Try to be more careful. If you do get pulled over, you'll most likely be taken out of your vehicle, and your license will be suspended. Not suspended. Uh, yeah, suspended, my fault. Is that clear? Alright. You're free to pull off when I turn off my lights, alright? Ha, oh, jeez. Did that dude really un uncompliant? I don't know. What what was up with him? I gave him a signal to go. Gosh, dude. Alright. Uh, there's some guys on a 1011. Um, say, any 1032s? Um, three two three. Do you need any ten thirty twos at this time? Negative. All right. Cool. Honestly, I'll probably go back to just sitting down in the main road. So I'll probably just get on my phone. Sir, I know you can hear me. Sir. Sir, I know you can hear me. You have to drop the knife. All right. Or what? Or you're gonna get shot. If you don't drop the knife, you're gonna get shot. First things first, I'm Lieutenant John with the Liberty County Sheriff's Office. The reason I stopped you is because you were swerving all across the road. Honestly, I'll probably go back to just sitting down in the main road. Alright everyone, this is gonna conclude episode 6. If you did enjoy episode... Hello everyone, welcome back to Sheriff Sunday episode 7. Today, we are heading down to the bakery on a foggy, foggy... Sunday here headed down to the bakery and we're just gonna go see what they have to offer us maybe some snacks or uh, Cookie yeah, I heard they have really good cookies and really good brownies. So maybe we can get maybe some of those I don't I don't know yet though But we're just gonna go see what they do have there because I heard they do have some good stuff But I'm gonna have to make a u-turn here cuz I want that I want that I wanted that parking spot that is uh available right there hopefully nobody takes it okay yeah no it looks like nobody is gonna take it but i do have to be very careful here and parallel park the right way dude what are they playing at the movie theater there looks very promising i could tell you that all right perfect 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 uh leave myself a little crooked so why not all right let's try, try to go over there oh they even got a worker outside Hello, I'm Assistant Manager Wilkins with Springfield Bakery. Welcome. Uh, hello there. Oh, hello, hello. Fifty dollars? What? Who is charging fifty dollars for what? Uh, okay. Hello. Uh, hello, Spring Bakery. What can I get you? Um, so what? Uh, so I, I do know you guys have, like, brownies and cookies, but what about, like, donuts and, uh, stuff like that and cupcakes? Do you guys have cupcakes or... Anything like that? Maybe maybe a donut? No? Alright. I know you... Uh, do you guys have donuts, right? Pretty sure. Uh, if not, I want a cookie and a brownie. Please. Just a cookie and a brownie. I do have... I have water in my truck, so I don't... I don't need a... I don't need anything to drink. Only that. 
Six dollars. All right. Um, here you go. Go ahead and give you my card. All right, you all have a splendid day. Thank you for the service. That was very, 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 very nice of you. Thank you, thank you. Uh, that guy just keep talking about his, like, game, dude. I don't know what's up with him. I mean, sports are cool, but he's over here rushing the cafe workers because he has a game to go to. I don't, I don't like the idea of that. I don't know, though. I don't know what I'm gonna do for the rest of the day, honestly. I did have a traffic stop earlier. Some, some guy was texting and driving. Not very, not very nice. Uh, I could tell you that one right now. Oh, that's what I wanted to say, guys. We are actually having our uh, ceremony. Yeah, not ceremony today, but our announcement. Um, next week about who's becoming the new sergeant. The, the sheriff and the under sheriff. They've been talking to me about that on who's gonna actually become the um, sergeant. I think we have a confident pick. You know, I think uh, there's a very, very good candidate out over there. So that's gonna be that's gonna be really nice. So we're just gonna have to wait and see for episode eight, I guess. But for now, though, we're just gonna have to keep going with our day. All right. Uh, actually, I'm gonna go fill my gas tank up because it's on a it's on a half tank from the little patrol I had yesterday. Um, because I was using this uh, explorer here, but. Alright, let's see. What Dude, the gas prices now are like so expensive for like no reason. I don't know why. But it just is for some reason. Like 33 bucks for filling over half of a gallon is insane, I'll be honest. It really, really is. We got a sheriff giving out parking tickets and stuff now. That's crazy. Alright, looks looks a bit clear. Dude, I, I hope the day clears up because honestly, uh, I hate this fog. And then it was raining yesterday, so like it, it really wasn't the best day outside yesterday. I'll be honest with you. And then the day before that, I think it was cloudy. It wasn't foggy, but it was like cloudy. So it was, it was like th this. Wait, no, th there's no clouds up there. That's like fog. It was like that right there. Those types of clouds, but it wasn't very much foggy though. Uh, Alright everyone, I was just sitting here in the alleyway seeing if I can get anybody and actually we got a new call on our MDT So we're gonna see what that's about call one two four. It says uncooperative customer All right, so we already got a uh, unit three two three responding game and go Okay uh, Dispatch go ahead and show me in route. I'm gonna be right next to the movie theater heading there currently uh, I'm gonna be going uh, code two I need to go because there's so many people. There's so much people in the area that I, uh, I don't, I, I need to make. Okay, this guy's trying to pull over, but like, not doing a very good job at it. Oh, somebody took that parking spot. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna pull over it like this. But yeah, I needed to go to code two so people can get out the way. But yeah, I'll just, I'll just go ahead and park. Also, guys, let me know if you notice, like, changes in these patterns. I think the sheriff's office is making an attempt to, like, change, like, uh, patterns or whatever. Um, supervisor needed? Uh, I am a supervisor. Uh, I'm gonna just say negative because, uh, yeah, I took me But that's the sheriff, though, so. Um, but yeah. Let me know if you guys do notice those changes. I mean, they've been making an effort on that. But over here, uh, okay. Hey! Deputy, what's going on here? Have you have you went inside yet? He said not sure yet. All right. Uh, okay. Outside looks clear. Let's just head inside. See what's going on in here. He said I already bought a ticket. This is a scam. Okay. We're gonna. It's chaos. Yeah, I can tell, dude. Uh. Sir, what what are you what are you doing in here? Sir, what are you what are you doing in here? Well, what's what's going on here? Uh, if you don't know me, I'm Lieutenant John with uh, Liberty County Sheriff's Office, man. I bought an online ticket last week, uh, and they won't let me in. Okay, where is your ticket? If it's online, it's on your phone, right? That's how the movie theaters work. You buy the ticket online, and then you have they have to check it from your phone. I, I know this because I, I do I uh, I do it. Then okay, so how'd you buy it online if you don't have a phone? You're supposed to have your phone. Okay, you can't buy them from your PC. Um, I, I don't I don't know how to help you if you don't have proof of your online purchase. 
the the that's that's movie theater policy i've been here before you need you need to have your ticket ready at the at the desk the scan well sir unless you get proof of you having your ticket there's nothing there's nothing we can do yeah like he said are you sure it was like the official website it's online okay well i mean there's there's on there's nothing really much we can do yeah sometimes you could even print out the ticket actually hey um do you have an account for the movie theater or website do you have an account maybe like a, a sign in with your google or something okay uh i do have a, a phone here if you would sign in with your google account and we can see sure all right but okay here you go then uh log into your google account on the phone and we're gonna see if you really do have a ticket uh, also to the tip to the movie theater guys you might want to update your policies to where you say that you can't buy you can't buy your tickets online unless you have a phone and you'll be able to actually use the ticket all right because honestly it's kind of both of you guys' fault what happened did you log in i'm still waiting for you to log in so do you have anything i'll see what i can do all right all right uh where is it it doesn't you see the receipt i don't i don't see the receipt what kind of receipt is that that's not a receipt sir what's going on here you're you're not it's it's not adding up it that does not say that says that says spring bakery you can't fool us that literally says spring bakery and that that says spring bakery yes spring bakery yes yeah, spring bakery the bakery literally right across the street out there sir why what what's why why are you lying it it works here no no it doesn't no this is this is the movie theater this is not the bakery if you're gonna if you're gonna want to see the movie you're gonna have to pay for a ticket I, I there's nothing else i can tell you you're gonna have to pay for a ticket here the tickets aren't that expensive here so i don't like tickets are too much oh well then so you're not gonna so you so you lied you lied to us and you lied to the workers so that's something that we're gonna have to resolve here you can't be lying okay that's not what we do man so what so what do we want to do here guys uh okay i'm gonna ask you behind the desk do do you want him out of here yes all right well sir okay, let's go you're you're being kicked out of the movie theater you just lied to the sheriffs and you lied to the workers all right come on oh my gosh dude all right so sir if we do get another call that you are back lying unless you're here to buy a ticket we will be here to arrest you and, and get you trespassed okay so I would say just go to your car right now and just uh, relax, just chill, and I'll buy a ticket next time. Yes, yes, indeed you will. All right, but like we're 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 here not to arrest you. We don't want to arrest you. Yeah. All right. Yeah. We we don't want to arrest you, man. Make sure you check the site too. Yeah. Exactly. We. I mean, you said you bought it on PC, but you can't buy it on PC, so that's also false. So just buy it on your phone if you get a phone. We all good here? Because I want to head. I want to head back on duty. Said yes. All right. Very, very, very well. Very well. All right, let's go. Uh, Mr. Game. Uh, good job there, deputy. Very, very, very nice. All right. And of course, of course. Uh, have a good, have a good patrol. <clears throat> yep, you, you as well. Messi is the why are they talking about Messi and Ronaldo? Ronaldo's better. Ronaldo's better. He said no, no. Okay, I'm I'm just kidding. I I don't watch that. Nope, I don't watch that. Nope, I'm just playing. I don't know who's better. I don't really care who's better. Oh, they're they're literally looking at me like they're about to do something, dude. All right, no, no, I'm getting in my car. Okay, no, I'm I'm getting out of here. What are these guys doing? Standing in the middle of the road, man. Move. Move, man. Took them forever to move. 
All right, dude, I'm gonna be heading back on patrol now. All right, this patch, go, go ahead and show me code four and uh, also show me 10-8. We're gonna be just patrolling around Springfield now. All right, that was a pretty funny interaction. Funny how they charged at me like that, though. I don't know. Unit 601, show me done with tickets. He entered about 15 traffic tickets in, in the uh, amount of spring, like Springfield? Really? 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 601, show me done. 15 traffic tickets is insane. Sir, what's going on? Come on, man. I don't know what just happened with that guy. He was just, uh... I just had to get out of the car and talk to him. But uh, we did get a thing from our sheriff. Unit 200 to all units. Can I get you back to LCSO? I'm going to say 10. I'm going to say 10 4. All right. I'm going to. Unit 355. Sh show me heading back to station right now. I think I know what this is about, though. I do indeed think I know what it's about. But he said all units. So that's every single unit who's going to be heading back here. So. But yeah, I do. I do. I'm pretty sure I know what this is about. Oh, howdy, sheriff. Is this about what I think it's about? I'm pretty sure it is. I said, yep. All right. Let's head to the briefing room. You can just make sure they know it's uh, the briefing room. All right. I think there was another sheriff on a traffic stop, so he might take a minute to get here. But other than that, we should we should be fine. All right. Ooh, that reminds me. I didn't get my workout in today. Maybe I should maybe I should work out before I clock off. You know, end the day with a strong little workout. But right now, guys, we're just gonna wait for all the sheriffs to head back to the uh, briefing room, and I'll see you when everyone gets here. All right. Is this the last of them? That's the last of them, sheriff. Jeez, this is the only amount of sheriffs we have on duty today. I mean, shoot, it is a Sunday, so probably get way more on Monday. All right, everyone, I want to take the last the uh, few minutes to just let you all know about our new sergeant promotion. All right. Um, the sergeant whom is supposed to actually be promoted is not on duty right now. So, therefore, drum roll, please. <sighs> We will have to wait until episode 8. Who is ready for a promotion today? Howdy, Sheriff. We are back on Sheriff Sunday, everyone. Here to announce our sergeant promotion. All right. It could be, it could be one of you five that's going to be promoted to sergeant. You know, we have our reasons why we picked one over the other. And, uh... So, Sheriff, if you don't mind me, we are pleased to announce our new sergeant, Miss Retro. If you don't mind standing up, coming to the front, we will get you your uniforms and things like that. Um, you guys congratulate her. You know, she's been on the force for a long time, doing a bunch of great stuff. You know, every, every time I see her pull up to a traffic stop or a call, it's been nothing but just outstanding performance. So everyone congratulate her and uh miss retro run go ahead and read down those notes you know it'll be very very helpful for you now the rest of you you know this is technically our morning brief just go out there get your uh, quotas filled keep the city safe um deputies you're all our deputies so just keep everything good you know we already have some sheriff units out there patrolling but that's all if you want to go make yourself some breakfast, go work out. Doesn't really matter to me, but uh, you all are dismissed. Thank you. We might have another promotion of maybe some corporals later later in the week, coming weeks. Me and the sheriff and the undersheriff just have to go decide them on that. All right, you guys are all dismissed. And Miss Retro, why don't you go ahead and follow me? We're going to go get you set up here. Um, so first things first, we're going to have to get you your new uniform. All right, you, you may keep the vest, but, you know, the uniform's going to have uh, a bunch of things on it. Like a bunch of, uh, like the sergeant stuff, yeah, if you know what I mean. So why don't you go ahead and, it's in this first locker here, you go ahead and 
get your sergeant uniform on. It's in the first locker there. And then I'll and then I'll get you introduced to your vehicle. All right. Your vehicle uh is going to be outside, you know, we have we have a special for you just for sergeant. Yep. You got the good rank insignia. All right. Um as a sergeant, by the way, I just want to talk to you about armory. You are able to use um the hold on, let me see. You know, I'm not very good with guns. All right, you are you are able to use the um the uh, MP5, you know, like the one I have. You know, I'm able to use the M4A1 and stuff, but you know, I just don't carry it because I don't like it that much. But yeah, you are able to use that. Just put it in your trunk. Make sure to always have your sidearm, your your uh, pistol, your Glock, whatever you have on the side of you. You know, basic things like that. And uh, I guess that's it for the station. You know, share if you can explain that stuff to her later. I'm just doing what I'm supposed to do. All right, go ahead and come ahead and uh, follow me out here get your go ahead and get your vehicle up so guys that's my that's gonna be wait where is my no my vehicle i'm so dumb is uh, actually right there i'm gonna be using the slick top uh silverado but you ma'am your vehicle will actually be this tahoe right here we've got a nice little tahoe for you you know it's all clean and spiffy the last sergeant <coughs> me i had it you know, I, I reserved it for the next one. So why don't you go ahead and make yourself comfortable. You know how to use the spotlight and everything. You know how to use everything in the car. You know, it just has bigger trunk space and everything. And just, like, everything bigger like that, you know. Um, everything. But, uh, Sheriff, I'm gonna go ahead and head on patrol. You know, I've done enough talking today. So you go ahead and explain everything else too, alright? Alright, you have a great afternoon. I'm gonna go ahead and start my patrol. I have a good patrol. You as well. I was going to say you as well, but all right, let's go ahead and get on duty, guys. Actually, I do have a new sheriff vest I want to try out. You know, I know I love having the bars showing out for my lieutenant rank, but I do have a vest I'm going to get on, so let me just uh, climb up here. All right, I got my vest on. Let me know what you guys think below. You know, I got the little sheriff thing. I just got it yesterday from the actual um, Liberty Apparel, the people who supply the sheriff's office. I think it looks very cool. It's not a very uh, heavy vest, which is also the thing I like about it. But yeah, I'll give you guys a little light showcase of the car. It has actually changed a bit. Let's uh, go ahead and be code one, code two, or stage two, if you want to call it that. Very nice. And then we have stage three, just the usual. And then we have our traffic advisors. Nothing special. So I was thinking, you know, I'm going to go ahead down to uh, Springfield. Oh, I'm going to go ahead and get some gas while I'm at, at it, too. Springfield, I feel like, uh, whoa, what happened on the highway there? It's a bunch of road work. <laughs> That's odd. But yeah, I was going to have to go ahead down to Gas and Go, because I'm going to have to get some gas. Might as well uh, turn right and go ahead and get some gas, because I'm almost running on an empty tank, and I do not... That won't be good for later, so might as well grab the gas now. Mm, looks to be empty, which is nice. <clears throat> gas prices nowadays, though, guys, are like... It's, like, really bad. Look, um, $4.45 $4 per gallon is not, not very friendly. All right, I'll just say that. So, um, no, I'm just... Shoot, it's the county paying for it, so I'm just going to fill it up to the max... Honestly, I don't, I don't I really don't care. Alright, $94 to get almost a full tank of gas. That's, oof, that is a lot. But at least I'm not paying for it. On my uh, truck that I do have at home, I do actually pay for some. I, I pay like 50 bucks. Hold on, requesting a supervisor to house 11092. Alright, uh... 355, go ahead and show me in, um, in route. Alright, he said supervisor. Okay. <laughs> that works. And uh, I do know the area pretty well, so I do know what house that is. So, gonna have to go. It's uh, one of the houses over there. It's like a, it's a Springfield house, you know. I don't, don't really know exactly, because I don't remember house numbers. But, it's one of the houses over here. So... Yes, I do believe this is the house. It's the only one with the car in it. Uh, it was, again, it was 11092. 
All right, that's not reasonable. Let's park up here. Uh, one one. Okay, yeah, this is the house indeed. Um, I'm gonna go on dispatch. I'm gonna say, um, can I get a reason on supervisor request? Before I go in there, I want a reason because I don't, I don't know why, I don't know what happened. So I gotta make sure it's okay for me to actually go in there and question him. Nine one. Oh, okay. Nine one. Hang up. They ten four. All right. Nine one one. Hang up. All right. Cool. 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 Uh, nothing seems to be going down here, but you know my opinion can change very fast. Go ahead and ring the doorbell. Hopefully he comes out here very soon. Uh, okay. The way out there he is. Excuse me, sir. Hello, how are you doing today? My name is uh, Lieutenant John from Liberty County Sheriff's Office. I'm here investigating a call, like a 911 hang-up. Do you know anything about that? You know, do you know if anything happened or who called? It was from this address. We tracked. We, we were able to track the phone calls from this address. So just I'm just here to make sure everything's okay. You know, if there's if there's anything wrong, you can go ahead and tell me. Uh, yeah, you know nothing about that. All right, is there anybody else living in this house that you know of? Your son. All right. Um, I don't I don't want to talk to your son. You know, I don't want to scare him or anything. So maybe you should go ask him if maybe he called the cops or maybe if you have a wife here or a girlfriend. I don't know. But some something's something's going something's not going right here, and you know I just want to make sure everything's all right before I leave because then if something does happen, it's on me, you know. So okay, yeah, you go ahead and do that. All right, guys, I'm a little suspect of that. So all right, nothing there. I don't want to look in their bedrooms. Okay, look from what it seems, there's nothing really going on. I mean, okay, I can't even see in his house. Just gotta make the quick run for it. Um, all right, yeah, maybe they're in a bedroom that I can't see, but I don't want to be too weird. So, you know, it looks like there's nothing going on. So, yeah, I still see him walking around in there. Hopefully, hopefully everything's all right. And I don't know, but maybe. Alright, uh, what's going on here, man? So, um. He did call 911. Okay, so that, that makes perfect sense, alright? Sorry about that. Alright, uh, is there, is there anything I should know about, man? It's like, is he having a hard time or, like, anything happening around the house that, um, maybe... I have no clue. All right. All right. Uh, see, I I don't want to. Okay. So, sir, I'm. I don't. I don't want to go into your house. I don't want to search it. I just need you to make a promise. Everything's all right. Okay. I just need to need to make sure. Whoa! Heart attack at Rick and John's. Um. On oh, what? Yeah, everything is all right here. All right. Well, I'm just gonna I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at what's going on up there, man. Have have a nice day. You know, if we do, might we may end up sending another officer in a few hours just to um maybe check up on you. All right. All right. You have a good one. All right. You as well. You as well. All right, guys. They said heart Sergeant Ten Six heart attack on Rick and John. Like, okay. Now I am actually concerned because I do see a bunch of like sheriffs and stuff over there so you know maybe something is going down i hope not but i'm gonna put on my stage too if i can get by oh yeah the fire yeah the fire department's coming down all right uh we got a f like all the ambulances and stuff here and i i don't know but okay yeah seems to be something major here Okay, we got why do we have a ladder truck over here that's pretty concerning but i will I, i'm not gonna mind it you know maybe they have 
there's certain protocols or something. But I guess I'll just I'm just gonna mind it. But we do have a bunch of officers already there. So may need a few more extra units to help out in the streets. So yeah, I don't I don't even know where I'm gonna go today. Uh, I might go Actually getting a haircut does sound like a good like get it um um Okay, I'm gonna break a few laws here. Oh, uh, what the heck does that guy think he's doing? Hold on. Uh, yeah, I need to go. I'm gonna go need to get. Did he go on the highway? No, I think he went straight. No, he's right there. All right, yeah. What the heck is? What does this guy think he's doing right now? All right. Oh my gosh. I literally a high speed chase. What? This guy better pull over, dude. I'm get. I'm getting. No, I'm sending him to jail. This is like. In danger, like this is danger. Anybody walking on the sidewalks, this guy's just gonna go hit him. Full on. All right, one four six to dispatch. All right, they they have their own situation, but I am gonna call for backup. Uh, I'm gonna say if there's any available units, um, requesting ten thirty two on Maple Street. Hopefully I can like even hopefully I can um, Get a person over here So running stop signs. Uh, I'm, I, I assume he was going over the speed limit. I have no doubt about that uh, Endangerment public endangerment um, Him just like driving on sidewalks and things like that So all right. Hello, ma'am and uh, sir. Why don't you guys come over here for me? so I caught this, I caught this guy, he was, uh, I don't, I don't even know how to explain it, so I caught him, you know where the dollar, dollar store is, up in the Springfield, he drove on the sidewalk, like, he, like, I feel like it was purposely to get my attention, because there's no way regular people do that, purposely to get my attention, um, and then he also, yeah, he he also like ran a bunch of stop signs, drifting all over the place, and just overall endangering the people. You know, if there was people on the sidewalk, this that would not have been okay. And like I, I'm all about having cool cars and drifting, but no, this this one's dangerous. That's just dangerous. You know, if my kid was walking home, from, my kid goes to the dollar store all the time. If he was walking home on that sidewalk, exactly. He could. So what I'm thinking, I'm gonna get him out of the vehicle and we're gonna get him in cuffs. That's not something I want on the street. You know, the charges, they can come later, but for right now I'm detaining him. And he's he's not he's not getting back on the road. You know, but I do gotta find out if he's on if he's under the influence or like what his problem is, what his deal is. So if you guys have my back, much appreciated. Right, place my hand on my gun here. How does Goober even see me? Oh. All right, sir. Can you tell me? Can you like explain? And, and you know what you're gonna have to explain here. J you just just have just talk. Go ahead and talk. Go ahead and talk. Like I don't. Go ahead and talk. Go ahead. I don't understand, son. Um. Well, you should. Sir, how old are you? You don't mind telling how old are you? I, I don't want to assume anything, but 74. All right. Do you have a license? Because right now you you've proven to me you're clearly not capable of driving. You ran. I think I counted a total of two. Uh, yes, you may get it. But I think I counted a total of two uh, stop signs ran drifting a bunch running over the sidewalk. Alright, sir. Do you have any guns in the car? Hmm, expired. Okay. No? Alright. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Sir, why don't you go ahead and step out of the vehicle for me? Please. Alright, and yep, and face the face your door. Keep your hands up. And just face the door. I'm gonna go ahead and get him in for detaining. 
Sir, you are currently being detained. All right, we, we do, first things first, we do not want you driving on the roads. All right, but you just proved to me you can't. Too tight, all right, I'll go ahead and loosen them for you. But you cannot drive on the roads no longer, and your license is expired, all right? That's two things, that's two reasons why I, that I have to take you off the road. All right, you'll get DOT here, perfect. All right, you know. All right. Is there is there any is there anything you want to tell me before I place you in the back of my vehicle? Can I see my great grandson? Um, no, sir. I'm I'm not gonna let you go see him. Currently, you're under my custody, and it's not no. All right. Well, seems like you don't have anything to say, sir. Do you have anything on you that could hurt, stab, or poke me, or that could be dangerous to either of us? Hmm, you do that. All right. Okay, sir. I see you do have a uh, disruptor. Hope you weren't planning to do anything with that. But yeah. So why don't you go ahead and just have a seat back there? All right, ma'am. Do you have the DOT on their way? Yes. All right. Perfect. All right. Why don't you go ahead? And, I'm gonna go ahead and take him back to the station. You know, I'm gonna have the sheriff get all of his charges. Look at the traffic cameras, things like that. Cause uh. I, I'm not comfortable with making an arrest right now. So I guess that's just what's going to be happening. How long will I be in for? As long as long as uh, you earned for, if that makes sense. All right, I'm gonna, okay, l luckily the sheriff station is literally right there. So all we got to do is head up there. And then, guys, I'm probably going to head home. But I, I really don't. <laughs> I don't want to be on patrol for much longer. Sheriff, I have something for you. Have a little uh, criminal here. Need you. I need you to take him in. Look at the traffic cams and review all of the traffic cams in Springfield. I count counted him running a total of two stop signs. His license is expired, and um, he was drifting. He ran over some sidewalks. You know, yeah. And I, I, I'm gonna need. I need. I need some help for this. You know, I've never dealt with anything like this. And I just want some help if that's uh got another one. Okay, yeah. That blue truck guy had the bolo on. I didn't want to say anything, but the other officer they got it. Alright. Sergeant oh sergeant, you're gonna take him. Alright, there you go. Alright, now hmm. Sheriff, what do you want me to do from here? Since I am the lieutenant, I don't uh, I would like to know if I can do anything for you. All right, I guess they've got it under control. Sheriff, I'm gonna go ahead and take the day off. All right, if you need me for any paperwork, just call me. I'll, I'll be uh, I'll be there. I just really gonna try to get home now. But thanks. All right, I'm gonna go ahead. And I'm gonna take. Actually, I'm gonna take my sheriff um, vehicle home today. Good day, Lieutenant. Good day, Sheriff. So I'm gonna take my. Actually, I'm gonna stop at the cafe first. You know, just get some drinks and then. I think I have to go ahead and cut my lawn because it is Sunday. And I usually do it in the morning, but for some reason I skipped it today. I guess I was like too happy. I guess. I, oh, there's a fire. Whoa. <laughs> All right. I guess I was a little too happy on just getting that promotion. Cause, you know, I'm the big dog today. I get to actually announce it, so that's pretty nice. But looks like we do have some people working here, though. Oh, free line. Hello, sir. How are you doing today? Can I just have one? Can I have one brownie? That'll be not. That'll be all. I got some ice cream at home. I'll just mix it, you know. Yeah, one brownie will be all. Um, here, go ahead and put my cash down there. Just had some regular, just some cash left in my pocket, so might as well give it to you. Uh, just keep everything. Oh, it's on the house. No, just just keep it, man. It's, it's two dollars. Just keep it, man. It's my pleasure. Howdy, Lieutenant. What's up, deputy? Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Just keep it, man. It's all it's all yours. But I think yeah, I gotta get going, alright? But thank you guys very much. <clears throat> all right, whoa, when did this food truck get here? Maybe I, I should have ordered a burger or something. Yeah, I probably should have ordered a burger.
rise and shine. What day is it today? Wait, it's Sunday? Oh my gosh. This, I hate Sundays. Like, Sunday's like the worst day ever. And I'm gonna go ahead and just, uh, need to get a few things from the closet. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and go brush my teeth. Get ready for the day, guys. We have a, we have a huge day coming up today. Well, I mean, it's Sunday. I have to, I have to go mow the lawn. That's why I'm up so early. Then I have to go clock into my sheriff. I have a big shift today, 14 hours. Yeah, it's gonna be a very long one today. Oh, yeah, I got my lawnmower out here. Perfect. Yeah, the, look how long the grass has gotten though. Very, very long. Also guys, sorry for missing uh, last week. You know, I had a bunch of stuff going on last week and it just wasn't the time for me to make a sheriff Sunday, unfortunately. So uh, yeah, I'm very sorry for that, but we are here today bringing you a banger and yeah okay so i think i'm gonna cut the 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 back um tomorrow maybe you know I, I like to do i like to just trade out days where i can cut the back and the front of the lawn because uh it, it's it takes a long time if you want to cut both so the main important part is uh that i get both sides really if I both sides of uh, the house, but I but sometimes I need to take breaks, even though I'm on a riding lawnmower, dude. I used to cut the grass with a like push lawnmower, and it was not great at all. I'll tell you that it, it was it was not great. It took so much effort. Not that I'm complaining, because it did give me quite the workout, but it just really took a bunch of effort, and I didn't like it. So. That's that. But yeah, guys. Apologies for missing uh, last week's episode. But here we are with episode 9. If you do enjoy, let me know in the comments down below. Looks like my neighbors are... They're always up extra early. Oh, uh, hello, though. Always up extra early. <clears throat> guys, why is this lawnmower so dang loud? Oops, I missed a spot. But yeah, it's, it's always... It's always loud guy wants spare gas uh no i don't have any spare gas usually i take it once a week to go get filled up yeah sorry guys. sorry guys sorry all right we are very close guys we just have this one little um spot to patch up and uh we are done okay all right we are finished i'll uh do the weed whacking tomorrow um just to take all like the edges off but uh yeah i'll just do that tomorrow yeah my lawnmower is almost out of gas i gotta i gotta go take it to get filled up sooner or later all right i'm gonna go ahead and go grab my car keys from inside i do have to go clock in for sheriff Ooh, they're right here i did not know i set them here all right, let's go grab those and uh let's get the car started and then i have to go get my sheriff car it's gonna be a hassle sun is rising beautifully right now it's uh just about 7 a.m and it's it's coming up, you know, and we're just on our way to the sheriff's station. I think I have a few plans for my day because 14-hour uh, shift, oh my gosh, that's going to be terrible on me. Like, it, literally the whole day, just working, you know, I mean, you can't really say sh being a sheriff is working, but some a lot of the times it really is. I kind of missed a turn, so I'll just keep heading straight on the highway. But yeah, I think I'm gonna go obviously get my chocolate milk and then I but then I need um I think I need gas. I don't think I filled my truck up last time I used it. Um So that I'll I'll have to check that. Then I think I also have some paperwork to do that the sheriff left me um with, but but I have no idea right now, honestly. But I think so. Why is th that Crown Vic? Driving in the middle of the road. Okay, I mean, that's fine, but but why? I think I. Okay, I could just clock in here. I was about to say. Hopefully, I don't have to go on the computer. Oh yeah, he's here. Uh, howdy. Um, here I'll just give you my uh, little police thingy. I'm just clocking in for the day. 14-hour shift. You should know the deal already. Okay. Have a great shift to you as well. Alright, let's just open there. 
Okay, um, now I'm just gonna have to go get my uniform and, uh, get all my stuff prepared, guys. Alright, alright, I just got my vest on. I also got a little earpiece microphone. And, uh, we are good for the day. Okay, I... Okay, yeah. Alright, let's just, uh, go ahead and get my Glock 17 from the trunk. Alright, make sure all that's loaded. Alright, perfect. Let's just go put it back. Alright. And, uh, does our car have gas? Oh, it does have gas. Good day, sir. Good day to you, deputy. All right. Let me go ahead and I'm just going to go pull up to the side. All right. Uh, let's go. Um, dispatch, show me, uh, 10-8. I'm going to be patrolling around Springfield area. Let me know if you have any calls for me. And I think our first stop is gas and go, honestly. Um, so let's try to get over there as quick as we can. Because you know how these, uh, episodes go dude we always get a call like as soon as we go as soon as we go somewhere we always get a call so i mean it's it's kind of repetitive but you know it just happens obviously it happens for a reason because you know i'm the big boss here and i need to go to all the calls all right gas and go here we are hopefully they have my chocolate milk in in the shop because uh Okay, yeah, they do have it. I was gonna get scared. They have, like, two left. Alright. Go ahead and, uh, grab that. Alright. Alright, I just gotta go get into the line. Oh, you know, hopefully, uh... We still get that discount? Um, um, I don't know. I don't know, though. Places... Oh, so you got chips and coffee. That's... Chips and coffee? That's not a really good mix, but, you know, I'm not gonna say anything, though. What? He is on duty going to get some chips. Okay, this gas and go always freaks me out. I don't know why, but it always does. It, it always seems to... There's always some like something that freaks me out about this gas and go, dude. Alright. You good there, man? Don't be coughing in my ear, please. I don't... I cannot afford to get sick right now. But... Yeah. Alright, howdy. Uh, I'm just getting one chocolate milk there, so here, there you go. There you go. Just set it down. Would you like to go to the snack bar and grab an ice cream? Ah, uh, nah. I'm good. I, uh... Actually, I did skip breakfast. I'm, I'm just not even hungry. I don't think ice cream's really good for the morning time. You know, I think just grabbing this, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a drink, so... It'll be good to have a drink with me. Four dollars, okay. All right, um, there you go. It'll be card. There, there you go. Go ahead and do that because I know the registers over here. Are, the registers over here are weird. Like, there's no like scan card slot. Like, the employees have to do it themselves, which is really weird because in most modern stores over in the city, they have all that stuff. I don't know. Maybe it's just the county. Maybe Springfield. I have no idea. But. Are you good to go? Thank you, thank you. Um, you have a nice day. I did park on the side. Free samples of protein bars. Uh, nah, I'm I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, it's really tempting, but that's why you always gotta go to the store and just get out. Um, yeah, you you always gotta go to the store. Um, and you just gotta you just gotta get out sometimes. You got a traffic stop across from Gas and Go. Um, okay. Um, dispatch, go ahead and show me in route. Alright, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go see what's going on. Why not? I'm bored. Hmm. Pretty weird. They got a traffic stop. And we already, they already got a second unit. Hmm, so I don't, I don't know. Right, I'll go ahead and throw my stage ones on here. Alright, dispatch, go ahead and show me 1023. Okay, I'm just gonna go talk to him. Oh, he's already over there. Hey, what's going on here, deputy? No, my car wasn't turning. Hmm. He crossed the double lines? He was going fast. Okay. Almost ran the stop sign? Okay. Alright, uh, what double lines are you talking about? The These double, the, the yellow lines, right? The yellow one, okay. Um, okay, so why do you need extra units, may I ask? 
appears I've appears I have some morning some morning memory loss. That's my bad, deputy. If you do need anything, you've got a second unit here for some reason. But uh, yeah. Hey, uh, second unit. May I ask why you're here? Because on the radio it said no units needed. I made a mistake and I came here when it said no units needed. So, but there's still no excuse on why on why you, you made the same mistake. Okay. Okay. Whatever. Just uh, continue on with your day. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and pull off. So I'm clearly not needed here. He's got it. That's weird though. I I could have swore it said units needed. I don't. I don't know. I could have swore I said, is he honking at me? Yeah, he better not be honking at me. He should see the spoiler lights and just not honk at me. Now, guys, I thought it would be cool if I can go check out maybe some of the park areas. I am a sheriff. This is this is not out of my jurisdiction, technically. You know, I, li I like the wilderness, so it would be cool to check out some of these areas. Um, yeah, just park here. Now just get the, just get a nice little view over here. I mean, I think the park is closed, um, cause on Sundays, you know, even though yeah, I know it's a weekend, but they have some weird rules. I don't know. Yeah, it, it, it looks very cool. You know, you got some mountains. The sun is also finally like deciding to come up. So, oh, the shift. I mean, it's already how how long has it been? So I clocked in at about seven a.m. So, been about two and a half hours, three hours. No, I think it's been three hours. So I got eleven hours, eleven hours to go. Wish me luck, everyone, because uh, I'm not gonna get off this th this shift until the sun comes down. You know, sometimes I just want to go home and just relax, but then it just feels like I'm wasting my day. So you know, I, I can never win. But, you know, driving around, it it's always cool. <clears throat> Whoa, what have we got here? We've got a got a movie going on or something. Hmm, maybe just a busy day. Oh yeah, no, there's definitely a movie. Look at all those people down there. We even got a guy using the ATM. I haven't <gasps> I remember. I'd never remember oh wait, hold on. We got a call. Okay, hold on. Um guys, some underage at the movies. Okay. Very okay, very interesting. Um, currently, all right, let's just get on our code twos so that I could just get there quickly. All right, and then let's go ahead and turn them off, get my uh left alley on just to let people know because I'm kind of in the middle of the road, but I'm kind of not. But okay, all right, hey, what's going on here, everyone? We got a call about somebody possibly being underaged. Um, trying to attend a movie uh, i'm pretty sure movies are for all ages if i'm not wrong maybe rated r ones you have to be with a parent but i don't know the kid in red wait which kid in red him oh him oh oh okay howdy deputy um okay so who actually works here who actually works here i assume it's you okay so what are all these what are, what are all you guys doing? Who who are you guys? Are you guys like friends, family, anything? You're just here to watch. Okay. You don't know the kid. Okay. Well, why don't you guys just step back? Don't uh, interfere with us. Okay. Just let us deal with our situation. Okay. Yeah, you guys can get in the theater. Okay. You guys can get in the theater. Uh, as long as your tickets are bought, you know, should be good. Okay, hey man, why don't you go ahead and turn around for me? Okay, so, um, how old are you? Because they say you have to be 18. Okay, so you say you're 18. All right, do you have any proof of, like, ID or anything on you? The movie theater staff have the right to take your ID and uh, get proof of age if you come here without a parent and they suspect things. Yes? Okay. Alright. Let me go ahead and hand that over for me. Oop, nope. Um, why don't you go ahead and hand that over to me? 
Alright. Now go ahead and take a look at that. Whoa. Um. Why did you just... Okay. This ID looks nothing like you. Okay. I'll just be honest. You have the little hang down here. This uh, hair is completely grown out and long. Like it's like curls like a like a little afro type of hair also says you're 18 also says also says you're about 6'2 and you're not 6'2 um and and, and it, i don't want to measure you but you're not 6'2 because if i'm 5'11 and we're the same height almost you're probably a little shorter than me you're not 6'2 i'm not even wearing boots i'm wearing regular sneakers okay so what what's the deal here? You're you're lying to somebody. This credit card is a bit faulty. Okay, well I'm not here to look at credit cards. You know you you're able to use like parents' credit cards or whatever to pay for things. So I'm not really here to look at that. All right, hey man, so stop crying, stop crying. Okay, we just want we're just here to help you. Okay, you know it's against the law to use a fake ID, right? That's a crime. All right, uh, where are your parents? Your parents probably should be aware of this. Home? Okay. Uh, so you just come here by yourself to watch it? An 18 plus movie. That's what I'm getting at here. Yes? Okay, okay. All right, deputy. Why don't you go ahead and take a step back here with me? Deputy? Okay, yeah, so I am obviously the lieutenant. I, I don't need a supervisor or anything. I want your opinions, though. You know, I'll take, I'll take, I take everyone's opinion. I want your opinion. Do we take him into custody, get his parents, um, or do we just tell him to leave the movie theater? This is a crime, so, I mean, we have the authority to obviously not let him bypass the law, but, you know, I think this is a different case, but I just want to. You know, any any opinions would be nice. Any opinions would be nice. I feel like we should take him to the station, tell his parent. Okay. Alright. Um, go ahead and take all the evidence. Uh, I see you I see you had an explorer. So why don't you go ahead and take like the evidence, like the credit card, the ID, stuff like that, into your vehicle. Uh, I'll go ahead and load them up. I have a little cage back there in my Tahoe. Okay? Alright, very well. Alright. Um Sir, do you have anything in your backpack or anything in your pockets that uh, could be used as a weapon? Candy? Okay. Why don't you go ahead and turn around for me? Yeah, just turn around. Just face the glass. That's all you gotta do. Alright. Well, uh, you are currently being detained. So, why don't you go ahead and tell us how old you really are, okay? Because, uh, the... He, the, the worker, tried to tell us um, you're 12, but he doesn't know if you're 12 or not. So I'd really like an answer. Yeah, I'd really like an answer. I, I can tell you're not 12, but I'd really like an answer. Gotta speed these things up. Hurry up. Hey, man, can you stop leaning on my car? I need, I kind of need that door, okay? Yeah. How old are you? 16. Okay. Very well. All right. I'm not going to search you, okay? I'm just going to place you in the back of the vehicle. I'll tell you what's going on in a, in a second, okay? We don't know if you're going to jail yet. That's not up to me. Obviously, that's up to a uh, judge, okay? All right. All right, deputy, you got all the fake ID. I think he has it, so why don't you go get it from him, the worker? I, I he, there, there, there's nothing on him. That's what he told me, so. All right. Dispatch, go ahead and uh, show me return at station. I have currently have uh, one suspect in custody, 16-year-old male with a red flannel on. Okay. Right, I think I think we're going to head to the station, guys. All right, man. So we're going to go ahead and get your parents on the line, okay? We're definitely going to have to get them on the line. You're, you'll probably be sent to a court date. Um, I don't know about jail time, probably a fine, but that's just the idea I have. I, I don't know, okay? 
this is a crime that you just committed, and we can't have that, obviously. Okay? I just wanted to watch my favorite movie. Well, you're not old enough. You know, if you would have came with an adult, you could have gotten in, right? You know that, right? But you wanted to watch it by yourself, so you're not going to get in. Your oh, your parents won't let you. Okay. Well, now that, that gives them more of a reason to be angry at you, okay? Yeah. You should have you should have thought about this stuff. Now you know the law and I there's nothing I can do to help prevent it, okay? There's nothing I can do. But there's definitely something you can do, which is fight it out. Alright, your parents should be here sometime soon. So Oh, where is that guy going? <sighs> Long day. Hey guys, well it's it's uh past my lunch time, so we still got a few uh hours to go howdy guys uh how's it going yes that is indeed a cool wide bag i just picked it up um this morning been on, i've been on shift all day but um, i just picked up the wide body this morning and i can tell you that it's really nice but i just i just saw you guys out here and i wanted to stop by you know how fast? Um, I've never actually speed tested it. Um, I don't, because we don't have permission to, plus we're cops. Um, but if you do look it up on the internet, I think it goes anywhere from 120 to 140. Or, wait, maybe, yeah, 120 to 140. I, I think that's accurate. I don't know why I was thinking high of 160. Um, so... Yeah, that is pretty fast. You guys, also, we got some um, new light patterns if you guys want to see it. Yeah, go ahead and uh, show you guys. Yeah, that spotlight really is bright, so I'll turn it off. I just really, we don't really use spotlights a lot. Because I'm, like, I'm, for me personally, I don't use it a lot. So, yeah, here's our uh, stage one. I think it's really cool. And then, and then we have our stage two. For some reason, stage two is like, like they have all lights. I thought it would just be rear, but I wasn't, I don't know. But then our stage three is cool. There's like a mixture of like a bunch of patterns on here. Oh, so, yeah, I, th I think it's really nice though. Uh, then you can also hear like the engine. Like, oh, I can't really, I can't really show you now. That is sick. Yeah, I, I can agree. So how, how's, how's your guys' day been going, uh? seems pretty dead out here other than a bunch of my uh deputies patrolling because uh, we just assigned a bunch of them to the night shift so yeah i feel sometimes i feel bad for you guys you guys gotta work like all night time most of the time and it it doesn't seem fun i would say it really doesn't not many calls oh i mean yeah I feel like station one probably we get more calls. Got three kids waiting at home. I mean, well, this is your job. You have a, a wife at home, maybe uh, looking after the kids. Maybe. Um, not sure. Hopefully you do. Can't wait to get takeout later. What? Wait, what restaurant is open? Hold on, wait. Uh, wait. What restaurant is open <laughs> at this hour? Rick and John's really. All right, uh, guys. I got a phone call. I gotta take. Um, just give me a second. Oop, hold on. It stopped ringing. Gotta, I just gotta go call him back. Alright, let's hope he answers. Uh, howdy, Sheriff. What's going on? Guys, my, the Sheriff called me for some reason. I don't, I don't know what he wants. There's more carjackings and robberies going on. Um, really? What? Okay. That's odd. I think we should put a fake car out see if somebody robs it. Okay, uh, do you want to talk about this like at the station uh, just because i'm out i'm out talking with the firefighters right now just out of boredom sure okay uh i'll see you in five all right see you sheriff all right guys uh sorry i gotta i gotta go my sheriff uh wants me to help him with like a project so very very sorry but um, hope, hope hope to see you guys later but thank you Thanks for the uh, talk, guys. Yeah, okay, so I got my wide body and I... 
I was really uh, hoping to speed this thing down the road since there's nobody here. Let's go, let's go. It's doing pretty. I, I just don't want to go that fast. There, I went 10 above, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm very dangerous. Okay. Oh, they, wait, there he is. Uh, I'll just I'll have to go ahead and take the second slot here. Oh, we have a panic button, guys. Wonder what that's about. Oh, it was a mistake. Okay. Uh, howdy, Sheriff. What's going on about the bait car? <clears throat> uh, yeah, okay. Do you have a bait car already set up? Hey, but thank you for this opportunity, though. I'm, I was really bored out there. My, my shift is, like, so long yeah okay um where is it exactly and do you have so i've done a bait car before but i was just wondering have you had do you have any traffic cameras or anything do we have any traffic cameras or anything we can look at yeah okay um what do you want to do this is completely up to you this is your bait car but i'm but i'm all i'm all down to help Send one out and see what goes on. Okay. Um, do we need to go visit the bait car? Maybe you can show me something like that. Or maybe we can put a tracker on it. Maybe we can go put a tracker on it. Do you have a tracker on it? Yes. Okay. Um, where is it? I, I, I just want to go see it. If you want to ride with me, that would be nice. We can go uh, look at it together. Yeah. All right, let's go. Okay, so where's this thing at? You gotta you got give me some instructions. I don't know where to go. I assume it's in Springfield, though. I don't... It will... I'll put it on your DPS. Okay. Alright. Oh, it's at... It's... It's at Gas and Go. You could have just said Gas and Go. I mean, it's your car. My god, this thing is loud. It should be right here. Oh, is that it? It's blue. Is that it? Yeah? Okay, bet. Let's go bet. Okay. Let's just get out here. No need to park. Okay, guys. So we have this blue Corvette. And we... This is our bait car. So you said it does have a tracker. Okay. Alright, whoa. Okay, you got nothing in, in here, dude. Alright, um, where is the traffic cam, do you know? Usually that have a- oh, right there, I see it, I see it. Okay. Let's go. <clears throat> so what's the plan here? How long has it been out? Have you been watching the traffic cameras? For the last few hours? Oh, okay. So you just want to, like, uh, help, maybe? Yeah, okay. For sure, um... Yeah, I'd be, I'd be happy to help, you know. You know, maybe because now it's, like, later in the day, maybe more people would, um, yeah, more people would attract to it. And since Gas and Go is closed, you know, they wouldn't expect a Corvette to be just laying there. Because, I, personally, I wouldn't. Yeah, for sure, yeah. Okay, let's, I'll just make a park here. We can go, uh, to the traffic cams right now. And just, you know, just take a look at it. Maybe we can... Whoa, whoa. Sorry, man. I did not know you are going out the door. I'll go ahead and take this seat. Ooh, I got the double monitor set up in here. Alright, uh, I don't know what exact traffic camera it is. 27. It's camera 27. Okay. That is fine. Oh, what is that light thingy in the distance? And why did the camera just zoom in? I did not do that, um, but okay, I still got a view of the car. It's very, like, slight, but it'll do. Um, I don't see any vehicles around the- I swear I just saw something move. I am not- I swear I just saw something move, guys. Like, in the corner- I see something in the corner of the camera. That cannot be me. Okay, there we have an office- I mean, deputy- Deputy doesn't know what's going on with the bait car, though. Um. What the heck is going on in Gas and Go? Okay, I don't see Oh, look! 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 
Sheriff, Sheriff, are you catching this? Look, there's people inside of Gas and Go. He just broke the door with his bat. Nah. They're looking at the car right now. Sheriff, I hope you're seeing this. Oh, no, please don't take the car. No, please don't. Dude, where the heck did they even come from? They just come from, like, the shadows of Gas and Go? <laughs> like, what? Um, I'm just waiting at this point. Okay, so they're just talking to each other. Sheriff, I hope you're... He's... He's... Yo, yo oh my... And then there's a deputy. I hope... The deputy didn't even notice. Dude, he... He got it. He got it. He got access. He got access. Sheriff, he got access. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh my gosh. He got access, and I don't know how. All right, uh, Sheriff, what, go ahead and radio um, the 1080 and the uh, uh, thing. Go ahead and radio it in. We have some business to attend to. There it is. There it is. There it is. All right, we're going to go ahead and make a reverse. We need him to pull over. All right, uh, he got the... <laughs> The uh, flashers on for some reason. Okay, wait, he's gonna pull over. Okay, let's see. All right, uh, we got the whole entire force here. All right, I'm gonna go to hold him at gunpoint. Let's go. All right, hey, step out of the vehicle with your hey, don't run. Are you kidding me? Let's go, let's go. All right, dispatch, go ahead and show us in a 1080 with a blue Corvette heading uh, northbound on Maple Street. Turning right onto uh, Spring Creek Road. I'll keep you advised. Uh, I cannot keep up with all the communication. Jeez. Alright, uh, dispatch. This is uh, Unit 234 requesting primary. Unit 234 requesting primary. Alright, because I'm the... Uh, whoa, almost just came into a collision. I got the uh, fastest vehicle from what it seemed. So I should be the primary. We're chasing a Corvette right now. I definitely think that. Oh my gosh. This is the first time I've ever been in a police chase, guys. Alright, we... Okay, we can now perform pits. Whoa! We just... It was tech, kind of like a brake check. But not really. Alright, hopefully the other units can keep up. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah, I don't know how much longer I can keep this up, Sheriff. I am not chase trained, okay? This is the first pursuit I've ever been in working for this department. Yeah, it's it's bad, okay? It's... Oh, he's making drifts? I, hey, I can drift too. You want to make drifts? I can drift too. Alright, whoa. I did not see that coming. Alright, dispatch, we're heading... Oh, he just turned onto a Riverside Drive. Um... Oh, nope, he turned back uh, onto Independence Parkway, and then he turned to Gibson Lane going northbound. Um, nope, he's making turns on some dirt roads. Okay, dude, we need to stop this vehicle. All right, dispatch, requesting two units, um, two spike strip units um, to get some spike strips down, preferably near Highway 55 and Riverside. That's where we're going to try to get him to do a straightaway. We're going to have to try to cut him off to where he he's forced to do a straightaway. Oh, my. Watch out, guys. We're going to have to try to get him forced to where he has to do a straightaway on Riverside. So, oh, my gosh. Okay, guys, we're going to have to get him trapped. So, we're going to have to meet him in the middle. Go, go, please, no. Oh, yes. Nope, nope, nope. I was hoping he turned that way. Oh my gosh, he's... Okay, uh, we have a motor vehicle accident. Times two. Jeez, you guys do not know how to drive. Uh, Sheriff, where did we get these, um, deputies? I thought primary was a thing. I still need my primary. Oh wait, I hope the spikes got deployed. I think the spikes got deployed. I don't know though. Alright, he's gonna definitely try to get us straight away on us. Uh, Spikes with Unit 831. Oh my god, they're right there! Let's go! Spike successful! Spike successful! Alright, let's get him trapped. Get him trapped. Get him trapped. 
Alright. Get out with your hands up now. Both of you. Out with your hands up. ASAP. Get out with your hands up. Dude, I cannot I cannot believe that worked. Dude, this is like one of the most action packed I've ever been in a in Sheriff Sunday, guys. This is crazy. Alright, face face north. Face that way. We're gonna have these uh, back officers come and get you. Alright. Take him into custody. Alright. Deputy, go ahead and uh, go ahead and search him. Uh, get everything off of him. You too as well, Sheriff. Oh my gosh. Whew. Okay, uh, you, sir, uh, deputy. Mind searching the vehicle? I gotta go ahead and call criminal transport to get down here. Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. Alright, dispatch requesting a one-time criminal transport van down to, uh, Highway 55, Postal 806. Or respond code 3. I'm sorry, code 2. Definitely gonna need them. Respond code 2. Hey, what 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 were you thinking, uh, Mr. Game and Go, to try to steal a Corvette? A little, I'll have you know that's that's a bait car, okay? No way, our sher uh, sheriff. Look, look, sheriff, look. Right there, he got spiked. Uh, we have two sheriff vehicles that were spiked. Yeah, dude. I what? Okay. All right, they got them. All right, whoever uh, units, I don't know what this unit is. Uh, unit one four six and uh, unit unit two o two. Go ahead and clear your vehicles. Try to get FD in here, and then uh, they're gonna probably gonna call Department of Transportation. Try to get this out, Lieutenant. What's up, Deputy? Something something going on? We found guns in the vehicle. Okay, go ahead and run it through dispatch and make sure those guns belong to them. Um, the criminal transport will stay here, so just get their IDs off of them. Criminal transport will take everything into... Um, they'll just take everything um, for evidence, okay? Alright, Jesus, this is crazy. Alright, we're also going to need some more uh, Department of Transportation. We have two vehicles that cannot operate. Which is not very good. Yeah, go ahead and call Department of Transportation down here. Uh, for tow trucks. And then, uh, I think FD has the oil spill from here. And four, okay, thank you. Jeez, this was a pain to clean up. I cannot believe they stole our Corvette. The, the, this is like a county-owned Corvette that they gave to us for bait cars. I think we're gonna we, we we have to do some more bait cars like there's no way we cannot do more bait cars This is just insane. Hey sheriff. I'm gonna go ahead uh, down to the uh, the uh, station um, To try to get some new tires Cuz uh, I don't know. Yeah, if you want to come uh, we have this do the deputies have all this under control You sure? Okay, that sounds good oh, Okay Sheriff, I don't know. I might have to take a leave of absence, man. This, this was insane. You know, this was really insane. Yeah, dude, like, I've never been in this type of situation before. You have no clue. Yeah, guys, so I got my, um, little... Durango here and we are just pulling up to the station. I'm actually starting my shift after the lunch breaks Actually, no, I think it's before my it's like 10 a.m. I don't know. Let me just lock my car There you go. Wait make sure it's locked for sure. All right And yeah guys, we, we also got these new and improved like key systems It's like really very cool and yeah, so I'm all geared up and stuff because uh, I am working like the really early late night shift if that makes sense um, Instead of starting at 6 a.m. I'm starting at 10. So I'll add four hours Down the line like at the night time. You know, that, yeah, that's That's what I'm talking ha, ha, Howdy sheriff. I did not know he was there, but I am here to pick up some extra magazines and stuff like that before I head back out on patrol um, and I just also need to clock in with uh the under sheriff 
Wait, um, hey, what's what's going on? Something, something wrong? I feel like I did something. Uh-oh, guys, he said, can I talk to you? Uh, uh, oh, he said, nah, okay, that's that's good, okay. Thank you. That, that My heart is, like, really beating. What's up? How's it going? What's up? Something going, something going on. We just got a new drone shipment. Okay, for sure. Do I get to fly him, please? Want to test it? Yes, please, please, please. Wait, so the, the, this this does this mean I don't have to go on my patrol, like actual patrol until later? I can just stay here and fly it. Perfect. No, I I I totally no, I definitely accept that. Let's go. Wait, where are they? Cause I'm I can't wait. I I used to fly drones in school, and they the, like when those things first started getting made. Though them those things are really cool. The back of your car. Okay, let's let's go. What are we waiting for, Sheriff? What are what the heck are we waiting for? Wait, where are we gonna be flying them? I was thinking maybe we could do it up there, in like the dirt. Oh yeah. Okay. Yo, those things are nice. Wow, look at that. Look at that. So I got these this nice little remote control. Look at that. I just put it all the way over there. That is very cool. Sheriff, let's, let's go. All right. I'm just going to go ahead and wait for him. Look at this thing. It's actually very nice. So we got the nice little advanced controller. And it's we have a nice little screen so we can view the area. You guys do not know. This is going to be very, very nice for our uh, like scouting and stuff like that. We've been having a lot of like issues with violence and like people getting away from sheriffs that's and we've also been doing like advanced training advanced uh chase training and stuff like that but this thing is really good is he coming or what he is really like slacking over there all right i'm just gonna run up here i'm gonna i'm gonna just test it like right here i don't want to actually go into the farms because i just don't think it, i don't think it's right oh, oh uh he took his car okay all right, Sheriff, let's go test these things. Let's go, let's go. Whoa, okay. Okay. Okay, this is this is nice. This is, this is really nice. Hello. Yeah, I see myself. I see myself. How high do these things go? These things would be very nice. And it's like all like, it's smooth. Like, it's like 60 FPS, it feels like. Yeah, definitely. It feels like it's like 60 frames. Dude, I can see the whole Springfield from here. Dang, and I'm I'm right here, guys. And I could see the whole Springfield. Okay, so I guess this is like how many meters it is away. Oop, my signal's getting a bit unstable. It's starting to lag up here. Uh-oh. Alright, I'm just this is how far I'm gonna go. I'm not gonna go that far because I do not want to break it. Yeah, very, very nice, though. Oh, whoa, whoa. So, dude, I could literally just sit here because this thing has a battery and it's not even close to being dead. So, if I just wanted to watch traffic, instead of having to watch traffic on the cameras like this, like, say there was a camera here. I don't hit the pole, but I could literally just watch drones. See, look at that guy's definitely speeding. He's also reckless driving. I would have caught that. But hopefully that sheriff up there is going to catch that. Definitely caught that. Oh, wait. Uh, okay, looks like they both caught it then. That's good. All right, let's fly back because this thing's getting a bit unstable. And it's going slow, dude. Wait, is it just me or it was going slower than usual? I don't know. I think so. Dude, Sheriff, these things are really nice. So wait, act, wait. So there's this little home button. Does it fly right to the remote? Let's see, let's see. Ready? Oop. Oh, look. That is that it? Wait. I think that, yeah, that's it. It's coming right down to me. Oh my goodness, it's gonna hit my head. Oh, move out the way. That's freaking insane, Sheriff. Great job. I'm gonna go ahead and put it back in your trunk. Yeah, very, very cool. Like, the, you, these things are really going to help us. 
Um, I just heard a car alarm go off. Hopefully it's not a carjacking. Costs a lot of money. Well, thankfully we work for the county. All right, well, I'm 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 about to go head back on patrol. I uh, just want to. Oh wait, perfect timing actually. That's perfect timing actually. People fighting. Okay, wait. Spring Lake. It's it's up there. Oh, it's up there. Think we should go. Think I should go. Wait, actually, I think I'm gonna go. You're gonna stay here, probably work on your little drones. But it's very nice, it's very nice. Alright, well, if I'm gonna go, I might as well go now. Because if they're fighting, I don't want it to get... I don't want it to get serious. So, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll catch you later, man. Alright. This... Oop. This patch, go ahead and, uh, show me en route, um... To the scene. Unit 6... 3678... All right, let's go. Let's go. All right, I'm. I'm personally. I'm gonna go code two. I don't want it to get serious, cause I really, I really don't want it to get serious. You know, sh fighting can really get um very serious sometimes, and uh, hopefully, it, it's hopefully it's nothing. Otherwise, I would have gone code one. You guys always bully me for not going code one, and that I don't know the car models. But how? It's really hard to tell sometimes. Whoa. Oh, wait, looks like they're not throwing hands right now. Okay, hold on. Hey, guys. Uh, what's it? Wait, ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. Step back. Step back from each other. Who are you telling to drive? I will hurt you. No, oh, I will. Hey, step, step back. From, keep, keep that distance. Someone mind explaining what's going on here? Um, hey, uh. Deputy, mind going to speak into that guy? Looks like he knows what happened. I got these two covered. Yep, all right, thank you. He tried to pit me? Okay, well, yeah, sir, do you mind explaining that? It, it it does look like you intentionally tried to do something. It really, it looks very intentional, and I don't, I don't like that. But it does look very intentional. Look at this? Yeah, dude, I don't know. This guy was going miles under the speed limit. Um. Okay. So that gives you the right to pit him. <laughs> like, that gives you the right to pit him. Um. No, it doesn't. That that sir, that is basically you committing like battery, or that's you assaulting with your vehicle. Basically, you need to get to your job. Okay, well, you could either pass him, even if it's still illegal, you could either pass him or honk at him. You do not need to do, like, you, you guys, the car doesn't look like it's, like, hit, but, like, you don't, that you don't need to do that. You tried passing him, but he decided to stop. Okay, well, it's your fault because you wanted to pass him and attempt to pit maneuver him, so... It, wait, he, it doesn't look like he hit. Um, if It doesn't look like he hit your car. It looks like it was very close. Yeah, the, it doesn't look like there's anything on it, man. It looks to be very... It looks to be very close. You know? It doesn't look like there's anything there. But, I will say, he is in the wrong here. So, what we're gonna do here, if you... If there was no assault committed, uh, you guys will be on your way. Because there's not much we're going to do for something that involved no assault and no damage. If this was a, like a dis if this was just a dispute, then it's, it's not going to go anywhere. You're saying that? Come on, learn how to drive. Okay, chill, chill out. Chill out. Come on, let's settle this. What? Chill out, man. Hey, do not get any closer. Hey, 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 step. Hey, you. All right, step back or you're going to get tased. Step back or you're going to get tased now. Step back or you're going to get tased. Nope, nope. Stop throwing punches. They're throwing punches in the air. What's wrong with you, man? All right, hey, Sheriff, mind helping him up? All right. Put your hands up, sir. Put your hands up, sir. I won't repeat myself. I would not repeat myself. This is the third time I'm going to tell you. Put your hands up. You didn't do anything. You just assaulted him. 
like he went up to you but he didn't touch you and then you just assaulted him so uh, you assaulted him no it's not self-defense he went up to you like this i'll just show you an example he went up to he didn't actually touch you you punched him he was going to confront you all right you guys want to settle this in court then listen to my commands okay put your hands up i'll give you five seconds okay now make a Turn 90 degrees to your left. And walk towards my Durango. Walk towards the Durango. Alright, stop. Alright, I'm gonna get you in handcuffs right now, okay? You are being charged with assault. One, okay? You guys will fight in this out in court. Um, you are not, um, you are innocent until proven guilty. You guys will be fighting this out in court, alright? He got what he deserves. Oh, I bet he did. But the police were here. You know, if the police weren't here and we had nothing to prove, you guys could fight. All you want. But we're here. Okay. So now I'm going to go talk to him. All right. You guys will be fighting this out in court. All right. Do you know your rights? Why is he? He's going to be in cuffs. Don't worry. Do you know your rights? Okay. Very well. All right. Hey, I know you've been stopped here. Um. Just please, you're going to have to wait until that is cleared up. Alright. I'm very sorry. Uh, hey, deputy. Alright, so what we're going to do here, you're going to be taken down to the station. We could either put you in cuffs or you can ride down to the station with this deputy here. Um, we are going to we are gonna um, get his vehicle towed, but we, may, we want to ask you to please pull your car to the side. And then ride with the deputy. You guys are going to have to fight this out in court. Because from what we've seen, he assaulted you even though you were getting all up in his face. Okay? That's how it's going to be. Alright, so get up, move your car. We have a pink Hellcat over there that needs to, is trying to get um, past. I'm going to signal him to come. Um, let's go. I don't think he got the memo. Hey, trying to get his attention. All right. Thank you for patiently waiting. Hey, man, in the red Audi, you better slow down. Just saying, man. All right, see him? He's in. All right, um, just take him down to the station, um, deputy. We'll get the sheriff. Oh, wait, is he not? He's still in there. Sorry, I didn't see him. All right, go ahead and park your car. Hop in the back. Deputy, go ahead and take him to the station. I've, um, I'm gonna inform the sheriff. The sheriff will take care of this legal stuff. Okay. They will be just battling out in court. All right. But you have a good day. Or, or actually, we'll probably meet at the station. So. Well, all right. I'm gonna go ahead on uh, call some backup for um, tow truck. Um, three, four, uh, three, six, four, eight, requesting a tow truck to my location, postal 901 at Springfield, uh, Lake Bridge. Oh, Sheriff. Yeah, I'm sorry. We just had a little fight. Uh, we're actually heading back to the station right now to talk to you. If you don't mind going back over there. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you though. Okay. What the heck? Um, sir, how did you get out? I had you in handcuffs, and you were in the back seat of my vehicle. How did you get out? Okay, well, I'm just gonna... Okay. How... Whoa! Whoa! Okay, maybe I didn't do the proper search, guys. I... Maybe I didn't do the proper search. Jeez, you got a lock... Okay, you got a lock pick and a knife. What are you doing with these? Alright guys, I'm sorry. I didn't do the proper police search on him. I was like, I was so caught up in the moment that I honestly forgot to do the proper police search on him. But right now we're just going to go ahead and take him to the uh, police station to get, um, so they can just battle this out themselves. Very eh, type of street fight, you know, I, I don't support it. They were uh, fighting because of road rage and it turned into an assault case, so... All right, everyone, before this premiere starts, I just want to give a disclaimer. This is not connected to any real-life events, 
anything that happened. But this is the season finale of Sheriff Sunday. Let me know if you do want a sheriff. Let me let me know if you want a season two. Let me know what other type of uh, series you guys want me to do on the channel. Make sure it is long term and stuff like that. But without further ado, let's get into this premiere. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Sheriff Sunday, episode twelve. I am currently sitting at the police station. Yes, it is raining, which I don't like at all. But we're just starting our shift. I just got off of, like, paperwork duty. And uh, we're taking the Durango out for a spin. This Durango is really nice. I'll show you guys, like, the lighting. The lighting is, like, very nice. I personally love, like, the... I just like everything about it. This would be our stage one. That will be stage two. Then your stage three is this. I like it a lot, but I can't flex that. Oh, wait, I just passed the barbershop. Uh, I kind of wanted to get a haircut today. I don't know, uh, I don't know when, but I'm going to do it. Maybe I'll request an early break. Literally, there is five sheriffs currently on patrol and three of them at the station. And we have received no calls this morning. Literally zero calls this today. And I don't know why, but, you know, sometimes it's just a ghost town. Oh, what is this sheriff doing? Almost killing me. Killing my Rambar. Actually, his car would have got messed up. Because my Rambar is, like, very, very big. But, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and request an early lead, early break. Um, I believe the code for it is, like, 10-6. But I don't want to... I'm not sure, so I'm not even going to use it. But I'm just going to say early break. All right. Uh, 4478 to dispatch, um, may I request an early break, just 30 minutes, let's go ahead and see what they say, <clears throat> meanwhile, oh, go ahead, okay, well, I guess we got the green light, hi, uh, sir, hello, hello, um, what, uh, I'd like, uh, just a, a small taper fade, um, and then nothing off, I mean, obviously taper fade the back. Nothing off the top. I like the top how it is. Maybe I'll get that trimmed with scissors, but maybe at a later date. And that'll be all, I guess. All right, hold on, wait, guys. I have a call. I'm sorry, sir. Just have to see if this is appropriate. Help, I keep hearing loud bangs. Postal 506. Uh, oh, okay. That's going to be at the trailer homes. I'm just going to let the other guys. Yeah, they got the sheriff and then they got a unit down there. They're just taking care of it, which is um, which is good for me. All right, Mr. Jerry. Go ahead and south sit in the chair for you. Thanks for cleaning it off, making sure there's no old hair left on it. That's <laughs> quite nice of you. But I'll just take my little fade, you know. I'll uh I'll just I'll just take whatever you give me. Just please don't mess me up. I've I have some photos. I'll just I I put them on the on the desk over there if you want to take a look. I know you already started cutting, but like. Wow, I'm twenty five to the dash. Uh, show me on scene of call two o four. Yeah. Oh, sir, uh, you, uh, called a, uh, loud disturbance? What's going on? Mm -hmm. Uh, do you know where they are, uh, coming from? Okay, do you think they are gunshots or what? Mm 
Hmm. Okay, uh, me and our, uh, my, uh, deputy will, uh, go check it out. Uh, thanks for the call. Yep, have a good day. Okay, I guess we'll just head over there, uh, code one, and just see what's going on over there, okay? Okay. Well, I'm 25 self dispatch. Uh, show me heading into the barn. Uh, the suspect said there was a uh, loud noises coming from over there, so we're just gonna go uh, check it out. No 32s needed at this time. Uh. Well, I have 25 self dispatch. Uh, show me on scene at the barn. Uh. Okay. Just, uh, cover me if anything happens. Just gotta play safe, okay? Whoa, is anyone there? Oh, hello. Hey, we got some loud noises over here. Anything, uh, happen? Hmm, uh... Any reason why that, uh, car is smoking over there? Mm -hmm. Oh, you need to repair it, okay. <clears throat> Do you mind if I, uh, step inside and look around and make sure there's, uh, nothing bad here? Don't have much money. Hmm, okay. No? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, so... You guys know anything about uh, loud noises or anything like that? No? Okay. Just making sure we got a call over by that house over there. Just wanted to make sure everything's safe, you know? Yeah, I'm gonna go over here, talk to my deputy, and, uh,. I'll be, uh, white with you, okay? Yeah. Okay. 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 The police and, uh, they do have vests on, which do kind of worry me. They do seem a little sweaty and suspicious, so I'm gonna ask for their IDs and just make sure everything's clean, okay? Yeah, they are acting weird. Oh, watch my, uh, cover. Hey, uh, guys, can I see everyone's ID? It's just, uh, for safety, you know? Yeah, hi. Uh, you guys just have vests and you have guns on your hip, so we just want to make sure you have the gun permit and all that. Why? Uh, because we are suspicious. Safety and, uh, suspiciousy. They're pops. Uh, you have a, uh, is it for a movie or something? Well, if we are suspicious that you're shooting here without a, uh, permit, then yes, we do have a light. Yeah. So, can I see everyone's ID? Like, now? Or you will be detained? Okay, thank you. Okay, I'm gonna go back to my car. Do not go anywhere. Okay? Okay. Okay, I'll... I want, I want you to want... Okay, so I want you to want all the IDs. There you go. Um... Okay. Okay. Uh, I'll walk over to your patrol car and we can just look them up. One at a time. Okay. Hmm. Okay. I don't look like they have gun permits, but they did say those were plops, so... 
That is kind of weird. Okay, Gleason, uh, I looked them all up. They, they seem to be clean. Uh, other than that, they do not have gun permits, so I kind of want to see their, uh, guns to make sure they are, mm -hmm. anyway. Well, okay. Uh, watch my, uh, six. Whoa! Shots fired, shots fired. Whoa, whoa, Jerry, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, there's a panic button pressed, there's a panic button pressed, hold on, hold on, um, hold on, um, hey, what, 1020, 1020, I need your 1020, sorry, I already paid, I have to leave now, alright, need your 1020, need your 1020, hold on, I have no idea where they are, hold on, maybe if I look on my MDT map, I don't know, dude, Barnes, Barnes, okay, all right, we're gonna be en route here. Um, I need to get here ASAP. Shots fired. Oh, oh my gosh, what are they having? Like an all-out war or something? Literally having an all-out war in the middle of like what? This is a noise complaint. I thought. Why am I getting interrupted during my? Oh my gosh, five X suspects request backup immediately. Hold on, I'm I'm in route. Hold on. All right, where where? I don't know where I'm going. I've been to the barns only a few times uh nothing over there oh right, right here right here yeah let's just drive through all this corn why not all right hold on i'm in the back am i whoa why is there cars on fire hold on, hold on, hold on. i'm gonna cover my uh guy here oh i'm getting lasered up right now hey drop the weapons all right let me get back towards him hey sheriff you good Sheriff, you good? Sheriff, you good? Everything good? Yes, okay. Oh my gosh, they are lighting us up, dude. Alright, hey, drop the weapon. Drop drop it now. Oh my god, I cannot hit him for anything. I think I'm hit, I don't know. Oh! oh I'm over here getting hit. Alright, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh my gosh, this is going to be terrible long, terribly long. All right, uh, Sheriff, I'm running out of ammo here. I don't I don't know what choice I have, dude. I don't know what choice I have. All right. All right. Uh one sheriff down. Oh my god, we have one deputy down. I have literally like two magazines left. Sheriff, back up! Sheriff, back up! It's not safe for you to be going this. Oh my gosh. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and request SWAT backup over here. Dispatch, go ahead and request SWAT backup ASAP. Request and SWAT backup ASAP. Shots have been fired. Shots have been fired. Alright, dude, I don't know what to do. Sheriff, come back. You need, cannot be behind that tree. That tree is not safe for you. Alright, alright, alright. I need to get back in this thing. Alright. You guys have five seconds to drop the weapons and stop shooting. I don't know what else to say, dude. These people are like... Hey, guys, have you been watching the window up there? Everything been good? Also, the windows on the sides. Don't forget those. Dude, your car is smoking. You might want to get... Well, that's my car. What? Okay. My car is smoking. You might want to get back. All right. What the... Yeah, dude, okay. I think SWAT is coming, Sheriff. I'm not sure. Do we have any SWAT units on today? I don't think we do. Oh, top window, top window, top window, top window. Oh, my gosh. I'm hit, I'm hit, I'm hit, I'm hit, I'm hit, I'm hit, I'm hit. I, I, I could, uh, I, uh, Sheriff, I need, I need something now. We have multiple deputies down. You need to stay in this fight. You need to stay in this fight. Just take them out. You're the only one with a rifle here. Go.
Oh my god, what the heck happened? Why do I feel like I am in, like, I'm giving birth right now? Oh, what is going on with my leg? Sh oh, uh, sir, what, what, what is going on with my leg? What is going on with my leg? Uh, I can't. I'm even having trouble speaking. Please, I, I will... I feel like I'm gonna faint right now, dude. I feel like I'm gonna faint. Please, I feel like I am going to faint. Is is the shooting stopped? Is every is everything all right? Jeez, dude, stop. Okay, I guess that's a good sign. Oh my gosh. Where am I? I I just woke up. Um, I. What, what, what's going on? 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 I just woke up. I just woke up. Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right. My legs still feel like they've been like shot multiple times. All right. Hey, doc. Oh, I feel like I'm gonna faint again. Please. I I I genuinely feel like I'm gonna faint again. I think I'm good though. I think I'm good. Painkillers? What What about painkillers, sir? Doctor? Oh, yeah, I do need some painkillers, though. You're right. We're transporting into surgery? Uh, but I, I don't know. That's your call, man. That's, that's your call. It is really killing me, though, right now. This thing is, like, really killing me. Have any allergies? No, I have no allergies. Medicine? No, no, no. Oh, but I feel like I'm bleeding on the inside. Please, just help me get... To the surgery room. All right, guys. I guess they're transporting me to surgery. Uh, I I don't know how severe my wound is. They're not telling me much. But this leg is killing me. I feel like I'm gonna literally pass out anytime soon. Okay, I, I I've never felt like I've never even been shot before. So this is not very nice at all. All right. I guess the surgery rooms are just up here. Very good. Oh gosh, this room. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Why are there so many tools and poles in this room? It does not look very satisfying, I will say. Alright, well, guys, I guess it's safe to say I'll see you guys after my surgery. I don't know, I don't know how well this is gonna go. Uh, wait, I'm. Wait, is my surgery done? Wait, hey, hey, Sheriff. Hi, Sheriff. Uh, I, I'm. Uh, am, I, am I good? What? You're out of surgery. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. I, uh, guys, I, I cannot feel my legs. Guys, I cannot feel my legs. Uh, I, I, I can't feel my legs. I, I can't feel my legs. Worse than we thought. What do you mean? I can't feel my legs. I'm afraid you're par. Well, what? How? How am I paralyzed? I won't be able to walk again. Why? 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 I don't know what what, what what's going on. Oh my gosh. Okay. Literally try anything. Fortunately, the surgery was 100%. So what happened, though? Like, I, what happened? Can you guys at least tell me what happened? Yeah, I know I was shot, but, like, how how did I become, like, how? What, like, what caused me to not be able to move my legs? I, I don't get it. I, I don't get it. So we can't do you can't, what, So you guys are not going to inform me that the surgery might not go well? The lower of my spine and my legs. Oh my gosh. Okay. But, like, was it you die? You, you, you guys should have informed me before you did that dang surgery. We probably could have just got the bullet out. Okay. You guys should have just informed me. I don't. I don't get why didn't you inform me? It's like I don't. I don't know who to be angry at. Myself or you? No, I'm not even. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to say, man. Hey, uh, Sheriff, can you go... Can you call my family, please? 
life saving life saving surgery as well life saving uh, i guess i guess you guys saved my life thank you but when when's the long when like when can i get out of here i really i really don't want to be here anymore i want to get back to work i, I want to leave how long am i gonna have to wait dude surely it can't be that long Oh my god, Grayson, Grayson! Hi, Grayson. It's nice to see your face again. I thought you got lit up. You have to talk to your family doctor and the head surgeon. But, okay, I get, I get, just please get that information for me. Wait, it's planning on being days up to weeks. What do you mean? I won't be able to leave here for weeks? Oh my god, you guys are just making me angry by the second. And I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. I don't know when I'm getting out this thing. They said it would be like today or tomorrow. Oh, wait. Hey, John, we have your wheelchair ready. Wait, wait. I can leave? Alright, uh, you're probably gonna have to bring the wheelchair to me. <laughs> um, you know, you're probably gonna have to bring the wheelchair to me. I gotta get out of these clothes. I gotta... Mm. How am I gonna ever put pants on again? It's like gonna be like everything, dude. I don't even know how to do half of my stuff anymore. <laughs> All right, wait, where is it? Where is it? What, what, wait, where is my wheelchair, man? Is everything okay? We ran some tests. Test of what? How have you guys ran tests and I have no clue that you've run tests? That makes no sense at all. A few months you may be to Wait, what? I can walk again? Okay, uh, 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 when, 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 when? I want to walk ASAP, man. I want to walk ASAP. You need to take a PE with a PE. Oh, oh, P like physical therapy with like a walker. Okay, I will do that as long as I am able to walk again. Um, wait, 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 wait. I, I think I'm. I think I'm wiggling my toes. I, I don't know. I think I'm wiggling my toes. Uh, wait. This is actually very, very good. Oh, uh, I think I, I think I can do it. I think I can do it. Let's go. All right. Um, hey, I have some clothes. Um, on the floor next to me. You guys mind if I uh change that and then get into my walker? Oh boy, I don't, I, I don't feel you touching my toes, but uh, I can feel like. You know when your leg goes to sleep or your arm goes to sleep? It's kind of like that feeling. But yeah, I can I can, I can actually kind of feel it. It's good. You guys told me I'd be paralyzed, man. So you guys gave you guys gave up hope on me. Especially you, miss. You were the one who told me straight up. I remember that. All right. Uh please guys, privacy. However, I really want to change. I was unable to tell. Okay, yeah, I, I can get that. But yeah, guys, please, privacy, privacy. I, I, I want to get changed. But, but yep, yeah, I'll, I'll be out. I'll be out in a minute. I'll be out in a minute. Trust. All right, I'm all changed up. About time. So they're gonna give me my walker uh, for me to bring home when I'm, because I am clear to leave. But, jeez, what is going on outside here? A bunch of like horns. This guy, stop honking, man. But. Yeah, so they're gonna give me my walker, but for now, you know, I have this wheelchair I can, uh, just walk on. Alright, guys, I'm feeling great. I am feeling great. Reporting you to HR. What? Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm feeling good, guys. I'm feeling great. I came in to pick you up. Alright. Alright, Sheriff, I guess I'll exit with you. Thank you, doctors and nurses, and, uh... Thank you guys for all your work on me the past few weeks. You know, I haven't been the brightest, but, uh, but over here, um, okay. Feel good? Yeah, I feel great, man. Thank you guys so much. I, I do indeed feel great. And thank you, deputies. You know, Grayson, I'm very glad you're all fixed up. You know, you had a, you had a better run than me. You got fixed up within a few days, which is surprising. Oh, okay, Sheriff, your vehicle's looking good. Looks like it doesn't even have one bullet hole. Okay, yes, thank you for opening the door. I don't think I can do that. I know how to roll this thing myself, but I can't. I certainly can't uh, open the door. 
I don't know how I'm gonna do this. I gotta jump in. You might have to put my wheelchair in the back. I'm gonna have to jump in. Okay, got it. Got it, got it. But yeah, you're gonna have to, Yeah, just put my wheelchair in the trunk. But yeah. Um. Thank you so much. Oh, I don't know where my family is. They were here a few days ago, but I have not I have not yet told them the news, guys, that I got freed from the hospital. Not freed, but I got released from the hospital. I figured they should just find it out. Um, I'm, I'm going to call them. Maybe next time they check up on me. Oh, also, guys, I've had this thought. I don't know what I'm going to do with my work, man. Hey, Sheriff. Let's go back to the Sheriff's office. But I have some questions. What, what's what's going on? Um, I'm pretty much, like, paralyzed. You think I'll be able to work again? I, like, I, I don't know, man. I'm like, like, honestly, I... I've been thinking about this for a long time. Talk at the sheriff's office. Okay. I guess we will, man. Alright, thank you for grabbing my wheelchair. Let's go ahead and just step out. Step onto the wheelchair. Ooh, that was a workout. I feel like I haven't been outside of days. Did anything change in here? I feel like I haven't like been here in like so long. Okay, well, I don't know. It looks brighter. I don't know. Something's just going on in my head. I have no idea. Uh, but yeah, I, I Saturday, I really do have to talk to you. Okay, I, I really do. And I don't... I don't know. I've been trying to hide this for a long time. And I don't think I can anymore. I've been thinking ever since I'm in the hospital, dude. I... I, I won't ever... Probably for months be able to do any patrol work. I probably for months won't be able to do anything. You know, until I heal from this, like, sur like not like surgery. Like they said, I'll probably be able to walk again in months. I don't want to be here doing paperwork. So, I th I think it's time. You know what time I mean, man. I've worked my way all up. I've worked my way all up to lieutenant, um, you know, and a forced retirement. Wait, you got to kick me out anyway? Wait a minute. Maybe. What? Okay, there, no, you're, okay, well, all right. I've seen this multiple times. We're thinking about it. I was shot. You were in the firefight. How are you going to? Okay, I don't appreciate you guys saying that you're going to think about all this stuff when you haven't even talked to me. Alright, I'm going to do it anyway, but I just don't appreciate that, you know. You should take the time to make sure I'm good instead of thinking about where the position. Yeah, the undersheriff, I honestly never liked him anyway, okay. I, I'm just going to say that here. He, he hasn't even came. He hasn't supported me. He's barely ever around. Okay, all he does is paperwork. All he does is county stuff, and I, I, I don't appreciate it. I've worked my butt off to get to lieutenant. Okay, coming to work every Sunday, every Sunday motivated. Um, even throughout the week, you know, doing paperwork, doing logs, any everything I've worked for. Okay, and I, I, I don't know. I, I just, it just seems like. <sighs> I don't know. It, it's it's been a good run, okay. Certainly, you know my goal was to get to the under sheriff position, but that's not gonna happen because of that. You know he's just yeah. I don't. You're my favorite, yeah. And I could tell. You know you're always with me. You're not even with your under sheriff. Your under sheriff has never had any patrol hours, which is very concerning. But you know enough talking about your under sheriff, man. Let's go ahead and get this done. Oh, my last time probably ever sitting in these chairs. I've used many vehicles, many weapons. I thank you, man, for everything you've given me within this department. It's 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 be very it's very good. I I don't know. I was thinking maybe we can do a celebration. You know, I 
I don't know. That's just very hard for me, man. I'm sorry. It's just very hard for me. Do you want a final call? Um, what is? I don't know what a final call is. I don't. I'm sorry. I was thinking more. Maybe we can do a parade. Remember that first responders parade we went to? We can do maybe something like that, or maybe like an honor. A bowl or a thing where we like drive down the street, code three. I don't know. Something, man. <sighs> this is very hard to do, but it's kind of actually exciting. I don't know. Not like that. Like, I, I would love to work for the sheriff's office as long as I can. But obviously, it's not going to work. Obviously, uh, we have major improvements to do. And <sighs> major improvements in life. You want to do a speech? Uh, yeah. I want to do a speech at the, um, I was thinking maybe, actually, you know, we don't even have very much parks. Actually, yeah, let's do a speech and then a, and then a, uh, celebration down the street. You know what I'm talking about? We can go to Spring Lake while we do the speech, and then for the drive, we can go just driving down this main road here. Doing that code 3 thing like I was talking about. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I like that a lot. Alright. Well, I'd like to keep it... I'd like, oh, yeah, we can both do one. Why not? But, what do I gotta do? Do I have to turn in any papers or anything? It's just so hard. I, I didn't think I'd have to... I didn't think I'd have to let this go, you know? But, you know, some things just, some things just happen, and, uh, you can't, you can't always prevent it. But, I'll I tell you, this, this has been some of the funnest parts of my life. And, I really, really do enjoy it. A bunch. Okay. <sighs> may I do, may I do the, may I do the radio? My last time ever speaking on the radio. Alright, howdy everyone, Lieutenant John speaking. If you're currently in the area or in the office, head down to the briefing room. We have some major speeches and some important announcements that should be addressed. But thank you. Alright, I guess that's the last time I could call myself Lieutenant, man. It's been, it's been really fun. Go always, yeah. All right, after you, Sheriff. Oh. Goodbye, office. This was a shared office, by the way, guys. In the briefing room. Goodbye, wait room. Front desk, which I've never liked anyways. <laughs> I've never liked the front desk, to be honest. All right, hi, guys. Hello, guys. How's everyone doing today? Me and your sheriff has some things to clear up. Sheriff, if you want to go first, you may. Just clear everything up. Um, say what you have to say, and then I'll, I'll take my speech. But, there you go, man. Jeez, we have so many people. So many higher ranks. I wonder who's going to take my position, guys. Like, honestly, I don't know. We we promoted our sergeant, Miss Retro, but... Are we doing that? Oh, yeah, we have to... Oh, we have to drive down there. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, I don't know whose car I'm riding... I don't know whose car I'm riding in, guys, but everyone should be outside. They've all got their... Like, they've all got vehicles and things like that. We're heading down to Springfield Lake for this uh, awesome speech that we're going to give. I almost gave the speech in that brief room. I totally forgot. It's like I had like short-term memory loss. All right, thank you, Sheriff. You're going to help me in there. Thank you, thank you. All right, guys. Everyone's just pulling up now. All right, let's get out of here. All right. Whew. All right, everyone. Go ahead and find a picnic table. Everyone, I'd like everyone to sit down and just view me. Jeez, dude, I remember this. This lake, so many memories. Just coming here and dealing with all 
everything that's happened, everything that happens there. This, yeah. All right. Sure, if you can go ahead and take it away. Hey, why is somebody ELS on, guys? Yeah, as, as your lieutenant, I'd like to order you to take the ELS off, okay? All right, once he's doing that, yeah, okay, he's done. All right, sure, if you can uh, take it from here, I'll uh, go when you're done. All right, he said, this is John. Don't exactly know what he meant by that. Oh, yep, guys, you should all know me. I'm your lieutenant here at uh, Liberty County Sheriff's Office. Been here for quite some time, okay? And I hope you all know me. You should all know me. I'm the one who gives promotions out in the um, department. Yeah, I've been here for over four years. It's been actually probably double, but uh, you know, we'll just take that. You know, I was at your barbecue. Okay, I guess I was at your barbecue. But I don't remember going to a barbecue, man. But I probably did. Just probably can't remember, to be honest with you. He has never been shot somehow. Yeah, I've never, I've never been shot before. Hey, uh, Mr. Sheriff, you want me to just take over? You got this. Seem to be stuttering a bit. Uh, you know, you want me to take over? Yeah, okay. I guess I will. <sighs> All right, guys. It's just hard. Yep, oh, like he's over here sobbing up. All right, everyone, listen closely. As your lieutenant, I have gone through many sacrifices. I've done many things to hopefully greater the department many rule changes many hours spent in logs on the computer in patrolling many calls responded to and the barn the situation that caused me to be in this wheelchair right now i am afraid to say it was my last okay i will no longer be your lieutenant here at the sheriff's office. I think it's come time to where I ha I have no choice but to step down from my post. You know, it, it's been very fun working with you all. You know, it, I've had the most fun of my life. And I just feel like I let you all down. But at the same time, you know, I have no control over what has happened to me. Yeah, I know. I was thinking about how I would handle my job in a wheelchair. But I don't want to. That's the thing. I, I want to just keep everything good, everything smooth with my life. I'm just going to keep going on with my life. You know, I'm, I'm just going to keep and keep on going. I'm going to keep pushing to hopefully learn to walk again and then just maybe i'll get a career in something maybe law enforcement maybe something else but thank you guys this is my final day as a lieutenant i will be stepping down by nightfall okay now please give the utmost respect to your sheriffs to your under sheriff who i who's not even here I don't like them. Um, and to your sergeants. We have one sergeant here currently. Miss Retro. Thank you. You've always been uh, here. You've always been by my side. You know. And. Yeah I'll miss you guys all. That's all I have. You know I'll still be here. I'll still be around. I'll for sure be helping in the office a lot. Just won't I just won't be a lieutenant anymore. I won't be I won't be active. Surely I'll be in the office probably once a week. I'll just be returning to my home down in the county. Okay. Thank you guys. And as a final moment, we will be doing a code two on the street. Led led by my favorite vehicle that is gonna be driven by saturday aka our sheriff 
Um, so I guess everyone, let's get in our vehicles. Um, when it came to my birthday, oh dang, I don't even remember that. All right, guys, as your last duty, as lieutenant, uh, as your last order from your lieutenant. Everyone is to line up on the street, the street that connects our sheriff office to Springfield. We will be going code two as a remembrance, okay? Just get into lines of two, followed by my vehicle, aka the one the sheriff's going to drive. Alright, we'll see you guys over there.